Thank you for listening to the Cinema Scumbags Movie Podcast. If you're listening on iTunes, make sure you check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash cinema scumbags. Also on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Cinema Scumbags. And leave us a question or comment on the scum line, area code 213-444-3766. And if you want to show your undying love and affection for the Cinema Scumbags, make sure to check out our merch store on Spreadshirt. Thanks and enjoy the show. So you're a freshman, right? Yeah. So tell me, man, how's this year's crop of freshman chicks look? <laughs> what, you gonna end up in jail sometime really soon? I know that. Fact. No, man. Yeah. No, man, I'll tell you. Yeah. That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> Hello, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Cinema Scumbags Movie Podcast, episode number 47, close to 50. <laughs> I'm Seth. And I'm Nick D. And I'm Matt. I'm Filmy's Nick. Ah, same thing. Ah! Uh, got nothing better very to say. inventive. <laughs> ah. How are you guys fucking doing this week? What the fuck is going on? Doing good. I'm Hi. dying. Oh yeah, what, yeah. I what's know. the what's, uh, what's the state of Yerington this week? <laughs> what's the white blood cell count blood, this week? I don't know, but uh, this Close is my last death. episode. It's been fun, fellas. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's a traumatic so, loss for everyone. Nick D, you're gonna start editing, or <laughs> uh, I, I think I can handle. We're it. taking oh. applications for the next one. Filmies, do yeah. you think you can handle the thumbnails? Big S is out. Uh, I'll do what I can. Okay, cool. little E is in again. I'm cutting back on the the beer and the caffeine. I'm drinking uh, water. <laughs> Tap out of life, son. Oh, okay. No, no uh, coffee creamer. Uh... Well, I had a, a caramel. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> no, I had the, a caramel. The first word in your drink is caramel. Uh, <laughs> okay. Probably not the healthiest. Choice. I had a caramel latte about an hour ago. So they took my blood and they about. saw I had caramel in it. <laughs> You should probably, uh, you know, step away from the baseball, maybe uh, raising your blood pressure a little much. How, how high was your creamer count? <laughs> Just a splash. <laughs> There's no doubt. The, uh, you know, M- MLB has taken significant years off my life. I'll admit that. How many, how many gray hairs so far this year? Well, uh, shit, you know, right? just blending with the rest. Yeah, <laughs> One for every loss. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. What, what about everybody guys? else? How's, how's everybody else's health? Uh, I haven't been the doctor since I was 17, so uh, but I'm gonna make it soon. I could probably sure. say the same the thing. Oh, sure, uh, well, Dennis, is, that's another this is a story for a different podcast. You just need to knock them all out in one day. Just Doctor Drew's dental podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking teeth. What's a movie? What's wrong with you, my cuspids? What about you, Matt? How how are you doing over there? Oh my my uh, gird is uh, picking up. You can hear the sirens right <laughs> now coming for me. <laughs> I can hear the stone. I can hear the stones and you moving around. Yeah, no, the the gird is acting up again. I gotta get back on the Prilosec. Oh, fuck, <laughs> man. Oh, you've been been stocking up on uh, equipment over there, bro. You said UPS is fucking you. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting some camera stuff, and they they didn't even ma- like um, send it here. They just put it right in the UPS store. So I have to go pick it up after this. Come on well, now. They don't want to send it outside your door, so I might steal it. It's like the nicest neighborhood <laughs> that you know of so far. True. How far away is the UPS store? Literally, it's like literally a block away. <laughs> <laughs> literally, bro, it's a block away. Watch jog there. It'd be good for you. Yeah. I will. No, I'm going to do that. Yes. Exactly. I'm going to go buy. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I already planned <laughs> jogging to UPS. No. no. Jogging jog- anywhere. Jogging. I'm jogging. gonna jog a block. Uh, so let's wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> a whole block. You gotta start somewhere. Wow, a whole block. Oh god. Uh, what uh, what equipment you got waiting for you though? What'd you buy? It's a, a camera slider from China, so you know it's good quality. <laughs> oh, must have one of those cheap eBay pickups. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't cheap, but yeah. Uh huh. Well, it's China. cheaper compared to every other one. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why... And you, you you bought a new camera too. What what kind of camera did you get? Uh, Panasonic. Panasonic. <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't even say it. Panasonic. Lumix G7. Dope. So, wow, man. Yeah, go check it out, I'm, guys. I'm the only asshole still using a fucking iPhone. <laughs> iPhone. iPhone. Well, what's the what's the status on a uh, wish? Wish I left. What's your fucking title called? <laughs> wish I, I was behind? dead. What, what, what we leave behind? 
What will we even have? What's the well? I just that? got well. I got uh, my so for the people don't that know, don't know, yeah. So I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm trying to do a horror film, and it takes place within a house. So I'm using my old parents' house, but my sister just gave me the uh, the word that they're gonna be gone in August, the first week of August. So I'll be filming that first week. So I already told Filmies, Filmies is coming down. We're gonna be shooting it. So so is this um, like um, uh, is this gonna be like a Blair Witch type thing? Where you no, don't it's like a it's like a haunted or? house. Yeah, it's like a haunted house story. You know, vibe to it. So okay. I haven't really figured out if we're gonna if you're gonna see stuff or not, or if it's just gonna kind of be like. But uh, how? What's the length? You think? I'm shooting for ten minutes. I think I'll be enough. Dope, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, so add to the scumbags production line, huh? But I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna you guys are gonna do the other one or whatever the top secret project number two. I don't know what we're doing. Or I do mine. Yeah, we're working on a follow up right now. To bright, bright dark minute, hour. dark minute. Yeah, <laughs> bright, bright minute. No, I, uh, no, no titles yet. <laughs> Spiritual successor to. I'm sure you'll Dark. find a Nirvana song that you can use the title for. Oh God! Blazed and unused. <laughs> but, I'm gonna uh, have to uh, back out of the project. <laughs> oh, Seth is oh. gonna be playing Kurt Cobain. <laughs> no, no, these guys don't even know. Just, just lay off me, please. You know what though? I, I know I said it, but I'm still pleased with Dark Hour. You know, it's, it did a lot better than I thought, view wise, comment wise. Uh, yeah, I still this weekend still got a couple more people that checked it out that I'd never, I mean, I never you heard of. You probably um, consistently get comments on that, you know, as long as it's uploaded because it's just like um, yeah. it's a broad search term, you know, short film right. that always pop up. You know, can you edit? Can you edit the title? Like, yeah, you should just put um, Canon T six I, and you'll get like a ton more hits. Oh shit! Because there's people that just search for. I mean, I search for that shit. You know, like to what see if what you put in the like? tags. Though that would still pop up probably. Yeah, right, yeah in the description sure. somewhere. Yeah, yeah I'll probably sure. have to uh, fuck with the tags then. <clears throat> Those yeah. will jump up. Go check that out, guys. If you're listening, you haven't seen it yet. I know most of you have, but uh, Dark Hour on our YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash Cinema Scumbags. Uh, tons of stuff on there. We just did a commentary track for William Wonka. <laughs> 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 Billy Billy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. <he's, laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that was fun. Uh, that was we great. have a few of those up on the channel. Um, usually films that would be funny uh, are what we do commentaries for. There's a few you can choose from if you want to watch along, listen to us rag on certain movies. But the Willy Wonka one was a blast, man. We oh, yeah. That. I think that one's turned out well. I know a handful of people that have already uh, checked that one out. So thanks to you guys yeah. out there that uh, checked it out. Yeah, thanks. I know yeah, I'm interested. It's <laughs> so only two tickets left, you know. Just but too. the uh, but the American Pie commentary also in Goonies kicks ass. So check those ones oh, out. Oh yeah, I, I, I mean, it. they're fun, man. And uh, tweet us or voicemail or whatever. Any Sex, suggestions? Whatever if you, you want to do. If you listen to the commentaries, any any film suggestions, anything you want to hear a commentary for, we can uh, we can make it happen. Hell yeah! <laughs> but uh, no, tons of scumbags productions in the works. Uh, hopefully, a handful of short films still to come this year from uh, from all of us. So yeah. Um, Got a big, big one with all of us towards the end of the year, so that's gonna yep. be fucking awesome. A channel is uh, our channel is about six hundred subscribers too, so keep that coming if you're listening, haven't subscribed, get on it. Hell yeah, and uh, go like the Cinema Scumbags fan page over on Facebook. Uh, trying to bump that up a little bit, so yeah, the, the Facebook pimp that out a little bit. I I added a call button on there, so if you're scrolling on the Facebook and you want to call into the scum line, there's just a button you press; it'll dial it automatically. Ooh, so that's great. Yeah. Scumbags so are technologically advanced. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like so that. head on over to the Scumbags uh, Facebook page, press the call button, leave a leave a message for the uh, scum line. Jeez. Yeah. And, uh, Speaking of, anything on there? Uh, <laughs> there is a handful on there. I was going to say, uh, if you guys do want to call into the number and you don't have a chance to look it up, the number is 213-444-3766. Call in anytime. Yep. Call Always us. Message box. It doesn't even ring. It just goes right to it. So leave us a message. Put it on the show. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay, yeah, no, uh, I do have one this week from a great, great fucking friend of the show, Gage. Love this guy. Uh, but yeah, here it is. What's up, scumbags? It's Gage here again. All right. What's one movie that a fellow scumbag really enjoys but you secretly hate? Buffy Larson. Also, no Christopher Nolan movies because we all know Seth Talk film has really no taste. In actual film. <laughs> well, I'm out of this yeah. one. <laughs> uh, that question, guys. Also, Nick, Seth, when are we going to Cedar Point? Hell Which yeah, now you're talking. Okay, right. yeah. Bye, guys. Well, I guess Matt and I aren't invited. I would be able to hack it anyway. So. Well, yeah, <laughs> Matt would just be on the bumper car. It would not be worth $100. I would, I would have anxiety. Yeah. yeah. 
But uh, if you guys don't know, and I know I'm interested. Gage, Gage has a YouTube channel, The Right Movies. Check him out. Yep. Great ass. Awesome. Guys, do, but, uh, the steelbook for the Hateful Eight. I'm still blown away by that. So thank you, man. I know I've said it multiple times, but fucking awesome. Well, yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't say. Like a movie I secretly hate because I just openly would say that's yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's my thing. Anything I hate, I make it pretty verbal, well known. So yeah, oh, uh, we know. Let me let me consult the letterbox. And... <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I mean Cloverfield. I don't like hide it. I don't. I just didn't think it was good. Wasn't a fair first time watch on a. No, uh, definitely still. not. But yeah, yeah. it's uh, mm. unfair. But you know, whatever. Yeah. Do you hate me? No, 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 God, no. Cool, cool. Oh, God, this, oh, oh, God, God, God no. no. God, no. <laughs> you could uh, rip on my... You, you had to bring relig- my, religion into it. Fuck. You could rip, rip on my top ten, and I'll still, uh, you know, we'll still be buds. Cool, dude. <laughs> oh, God, no. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, and then Cedar Point. I mean, dude, I'm I'm hoping it happens, bro. Uh, yeah. I don't know about this year, dude. Money, I got money going a lot of places this year, so... It will happen, though. Yeah, it will. Make it happen for sure, bro. Cedar Point is a fucking blast. If you like roller coasters, I don't know about you, Nick D. I don't know how. Uh, I could handle them. Yeah, Cedar Point is the uh, best of the best. Kings Island's pretty good that. too. Okay. <laughs> what is? Kings Island. It's also in Ohio. Oh, okay. So you've never been there. I used to go to Six Flags in Chicago all the time, but after I went to Cedar Point, it's like, fuck, I'm never C- going back to Six Flags again. Cedar Point Millennium Force? Yeah. Whew. They did a whole. There's a whole National Geographic uh, or Discovery Channel um, documentary about that roller coaster. That's how intense it is. Yeah, make sure wow. you have the uh, HD cameras rolling when I throw up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, appreciate it, Gage. Always cool talking to you, bro. We need to holler at me, bro. We want to talk at you. So you're the man, brother. Uh, we have a few over on Twitter. We have one from Bobby Brown. What type of comic book movie would you want to see? A uh, more art house approach, like scanners, or a more fun thing like John Hughes. Um, well, yeah. I personally, you know, if they're going to do a comic book thing, I'd like—I want to see him do like a low budget art, arty art house, like an independent comic book film. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like any sort of. Kinda? Yeah, I get, yeah, I guess. I loved Kick Ass, honestly. A comic book movie should be fun because comic books are supposed to be fun, and the idea of superheroes are. It's pretty goofy, so I want the movie to kind of match that, uh, you know, match that vibe. Right, goofy. Hmm. Yeah. Could do a John Hughes one, The Avengers Club, something like that. <laughs> they all get detention and, you know, <laughs> oh, or just man. solitude. Oh. The less serious, the better for me with that genre. That's just, that's me, though. I agree. <laughs> Avengers in pink. <laughs> 16 uh, Avengers. Yeah, no, uh, good question, though, Bobby. And then we have one from Brad. What Clint Eastwood directed fi- – or what's your favorite Clint Eastwood directed film? Changeling for me. Huh. Oh, Grand uh, Torino. What are some Clint Eastwood uh... – Well, J, J, it's, I can tell you it's not J. Edgar. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> okay, uh, I have the list, uh, his IMDb credits. Here's so, some of them. American Sniper, uh, in- Invictus, yes. Grand Torino, yes. Million Is Dollar Is it called Baby. Invictus? Is it really called that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Soccer one, right? Wait, eight two million dollar baby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's my answer. Mystic, I still need to see that actually. Mystic Good. River. Ooh, I'll go Mystic River. Okay. Mystic uh, River. Grand Torino's up there. I think Unforgiven's yeah. actually pretty great too. Yeah, the great I catch uh, up on some of my Clint. There's films. a there's a great performance by Tom Geary in uh, Mystic oh, River. God. <laughs> yeah. No, he plays like the boyfriend suspected of murdering her. Damn, sounds good like stuff. something he'd do in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Or he has. Yeah. Headbutts more cops, buddy. <laughs> uh, no, that was a great question, though, Brad. Like, like Seth said, there's a, there's a handful that I still need to see. Come on, Seth. Pull through, bud. Uh, neat. <laughs> huh. neat. None, mother, none mothers, I guess. <laughs> none mothers, I guess. I want you to get outside, quit sitting here playing with your erector set and drinking your fucking nest quick. <laughs> Face it, I'm just get an egghead. Trouble. Quit playing with your erection <laughs> Too set. Too much. Can we put the music right here? Face it, I'm just an egghead. <laughs> You'll always be an egghead with an attitude like that. <laughs> Bill? I mean, <laughs> I mean, Dad. I mean, Bill. God, we need to do a commentary on that Dad soon. So, and um, Bill. No, uh, uh, <laughs> how'd that even get on that? I don't even know. But, I don't uh, know. What, you we're talking about Tom Geary. Okay, yeah, Brad, you fucking rule, bro. And shout out to Brad. He uh, just did like a 
I think his first YouTube video, complete collection video. Oh, that's right. I think I saw nice. something about yeah, that. Yeah, so, awesome. I mean, if you guys peep him out, check it out. Uh, he, I re, we retweeted it on the Twitter, so you can see it there. So. Uh, peep this out. I'm the go, twatter. We do have one more question <laughs> from our ginger twin, oh. John Lanting. All right. This one's probably for you guys. Uh, uh, is there any band musician you would like to see score a film like Trent Reznor did for Social Network? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question, man. That's a really good question. Yeah, Coheed could do some a, yes. an epic sci-fi movie. Yes, mm-hmm. I'm all for that. Well, I mean, think uh, what's his name? Omar and Cedric could do a pretty fucking good. Oh uh, yeah, yep. Some type of you know those guys. So are, they uh, could do like a Inuritu uh, film. <laughs> yeah, keep it that, all Hispanic. No shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Have you see, you know, let Omar come in, lay down some tracks. Oh yep. fuck, uh-huh. would be great. Vendetta Red. There you go. Oh, also, ah. didn't, didn't what's his name? I mean, Billy Corgan. He's got to have done. Oh, Billy Corgan is a icon. Top two, t- <laughs> top three musicians ever. Oh, you have that list handy? <laughs> yeah. I actually had like a random playlist of Smashing Pumpkins kept playing today. I'm like, these are actually not bad. Oh, I never, I never great. went into their albums. I know you posted something about it the other day, Seth. I love Smashing Pumpkins, man. Well, you know the. The older pumpkins. I, I don't know really have to do stuff, but uh, you know, like was it a door or what is it called? Uh, yeah, that fucking they did one a couple years ago. Oceana. You know, I, it's not even the Smashing Pumpkins anymore. It's Billy Corgan with three people. Yeah. They're doing I, like Smashing Pumpkins covers. It's weird. I think he's real close to the lead singer from Hole, Courtney Love. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh god, some sort of history there. No, yeah, but uh, ah, man, dude, that's kind of a hard one for me because I don't know any like musicians, like relevant musicians. Earl is a vampire. I know my rage. Say it was like a you know a hood movie. I would like to see Kanye West do the music for it. Ooh, why? Jesus walks. No, because he, uh, he, I think, he, I think he, he has some good beats in in the past. I don't know. So, all right, mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. 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 Rap podcast, anyone? I wouldn't know anything about it. Hear about the Ice Cube Gene, C- Gene Simmons feud? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Let's hear no. it. No. <laughs> it sounds Great. like the best news ever. Good stuff. Yeah. Well, did they get uh, NWA get inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or something? Yeah. And yep. Gene Simmons uh, is like, they're not rock and roll. <laughs> He said, let me know when Jimi Hendrix gets inducted to the Hip Hop Hall of Fame. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Some, or something like that. He said, I can't wait till rap is dead or hip hop I mean, dead. I would have to say, like, why, I mean, you know, why doesn't hip hop have their own thing, you know? Like, rock and roll is rock and yeah, roll, you know, kind of. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I, well, I mean, the first inductees. Simmons is pretty full of himself, The though. first inductees weren't even rock and roll. Like a blues musician, and I mean, it's all yeah. over the place. They, yeah, uh, see, they're really weird about that. Like, you know, they just like put in like Deep Purple, which is like, I mean, a classic yeah. band that probably should have been, you know, in years ago. I don't know. They're always like holding out, but well, that's like an Ice Cube Gene Simmons Twitter war. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know that we really got into it, but what about that, uh, <laughs> Vince Neil Nicholas Cage uh, little oh, thing? Oh, no. Shit. If you guys are listening to this podcast, Google this right now. Nick Cage, Vince, uh, Vince Neil from Motley Crue. Great video of, uh, Nick Cage about to put him in a chokehold. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's somebody, like, filming and on, like, an iPhone. They're inside the back of a taxi. About to go con air on his him. ass. <laughs> oh, seriously, I don't know what the altercation was even about, but it, you could tell Nick Cage was definitely like fucked up, like drunk or. I think the other guy <laughs> assaulted or talked badly to a fan or something like that. Oh, Vince Neil's a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, he is. Molly Crew sucks ass too. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry <laughs> for your fans. I don't know who you're offending, but <laughs> <laughs> not me. Everyone hates him. The it's two Molly Crew fans. Yeah, we let's have. see fucking Tommy Lee drum upside down. Shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> Hey, that was cool. That though. Tommy Lee, what a rock guy. <laughs> that Tommy Lee, what a cock. <laughs> oh, it can even steer a boat. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, but uh, uh, no, John, you fucking rule, bro. Like we said last week. Check out that guy's Instagram, Jay Lanting. I don't know if that's, that's John. it. But... Yeah. Uh, no, we, and then, uh, you know, it's about that fucking time. Trailer fucking trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's uh, some big ones this week. People yeah. are blowing up the internet and Instagram and Twitter and <laughs> Facebook and everywhere you look on the internet. You well, can't you, avoid them. You too. Break it down for us, uh, Suicide Squad. What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Break. I I watched it. Um, did you replay the Margot the, Robbie part? I did. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's part of the fucking trailer. Oh, he replayed it? it? God. Man, as geez. long as it took him to get off. 
beyond a doubt. <laughs> I'm just saying that chick, you know, said it since way back. It's just, she's like beyond ten, not even human. Before she was, <laughs> before she was ten years old, I was saying Be- before, yeah, way back she was, uh, you know, she's never mind, but pre <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I yeah. watched it out of curiosity. Like I said, you can't avoid that shit. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I have no. Re- I'm indifferent yeah. about that. You it's know, like, whatever. It's we- gonna be better than B versus C, whatever. Uh, B well, versus C. B versus, B versus S. S. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god. god. But yeah, we always tear apart these superhero movies, but you know, I think uh I think I might venture out to see that one in the theater almost. Like I'm Great. Not, Make sure you give there. me a checklist about what time you're going and what candy you're going to get. <laughs> I'm going to screen with size <laughs> popcorn. Bro, I'm going to screen cap you the receipt so you know how much tax I spent. I got on my snow fucking... caps this time. I don't eat I snow caps. I only eat cookie dough bites, buddy. You know I me. I know everything. Yeah, no, uh then I had the ballroom blitz song in there. That's that's kind of been like what they've done with all these trailers they put some like iconic fucking pop song from like queen yeah. <laughs> you know and it sells the trailer which i think is working and margot robbie they they make it seem like she's going to be like you know, know like one of the main leads well, yeah. what do you think of uh jared leto i don't you know dude i don't know dude i you know dude i don't know dude. <laughs> Oh dude. yeah, dude. I, I, I got you, dude. dude. His, te- his teeth. I mean, he's got a Paul Wall grill, which just isn't working for me at all. But <laughs> it's just, uh, I don't know. I, I got the internet he's going. Got that nuts. cut. Sounds. I think. Like, I think that he can. You know, I think he'll deliver as far as the performance goes. But it's just like that. The way they stylize that Joker just is not good to me. No, I don't like I, it. I agree. Yeah. Sounds a lot like. I would watch. Wouldn't go see in the theater, but I would watch because of uh, Margo. Yeah. Right. Bye-bye. And, and uh, I really enjoy the director, actually, David Ayer. He did, like, In the Watch, uh, wrote Train Fury. Day, you know, Fury. He's done a handful of, like, stuff that was semi- <laughs> uh, Yeah. Oh, well, I guess he just watched <laughs> the trailer. He <laughs> just watched the trailer and got off again. End of movie. Uh, about trailers getting off to oh. Ro- Rogue One, Star Wars. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about something else. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's coming out uh, December sixteenth. You know, this year, Felicity Jones in this movie. God, she's by far the hottest chick in the history of Star Wars already. Uh, Daisy, got a little, Daisy uh, Ridley's like, uh, pretty good. Kind of like a, a fan made movie, but that's just me. Yeah. I, I, well, it is directed by Gareth Edwards, the guy who did Godzilla. Had like a, it had like a fan film thing to it, you know. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. A I know. I uh, I like it, you know, because well, you know, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars and all that, and you know, we might there could be a, huge, there could, <laughs> huge. I'm a fuck. <laughs> I cried. There could be a there could be Darth Vader in this, you know. I I, I didn't hear it in the trailer, but I heard speculation there is, I think. about there him is. Like, breathing. They, ca- they cast him already. What, is James Earl Jones signed on to this? You know it. Not yet, but the oh, guy, the guy who's going to be in the suit has been cast. Yeah, they better, they better get him to record anything like for the next ten movies. You know, say it. They better get him in the studio before he fucking croaks. After they're going to do that. Yep. One thing that threw me off though was when they showed Force Whitaker. Like, he's just yeah, too I big don't... of an actor to throw into a Star Wars franchise to me. He's not even that good of an actor. That yeah, I agree. <laughs> it, I mean, well, it's just like, you look at it and you're like, that's Forrest Whitaker. You don't think, like, anything else. It's like the Sam Jackson in the prequels. Like, it just didn't work. Yeah, I think that's what they're trying to it do. Just, it, it seems like with all these movies now, they're throwing in every single person. So it's like nobody's ever going to be little. Everybody's going to be big. Like, even Ben Mendelsohn's in it. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's, but, here's my thing with it. It's like, okay, I know there's a huge Star Wars fan base, obviously. Not, not shit, not shit, not anyone. I know people are excited because finally it's, you know, back huge amount of popularity, but now they're gonna do these fucking spin offs every year. It's it, dude, it's mm-hmm. gonna get it's gonna get old, man. I'm telling yep. you. It's not right now, but it will. Yep. Yeah. I, I really hope not, but yeah, I I mean, you know, I've seen we've we've seen it with every Marvel, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, we're seeing it right now, so Yeah, people are so stoked on that and you know, now it's getting to the point where even people who you know, usually loved all that shit. Are kind of like okay, you know. Yeah, I, I, I get you know. it though. It's a huge cash, you know, business. I mean, people are gonna go see Star Wars no matter what. So why not pump out a bunch of prequels and whatever? Yeah, yeah. I'm just excited to see more story, you know, portrayed on screen. Because you know, I don't like it. Look into the expanded stuff. I don't look into the animated series and all that. I just the films are like my lore, you know. That's all I know about Star Wars is the movies, and there's mm. there's like tons of more info out there, you know. But 
I like the story where they're going with it, how it's between, uh, what is it, three and four, and the walkers. Mm-hmm. Good to see them again. Yeah, no, it was cool, like ATPs or eight. Yeah, I'm probably fucking it up, but oh well. They're not uh, stormtroopers, they're death troopers. <laughs> yeah. Supposedly. But uh, no, I thought it was pretty interesting. Cool cool trailer, I thought, you know, for the first mm-hmm. one, you know. When does that some cool shots in it. And uh, I thought the music it was way December. Fun. Yeah, December 16th, that'd be out, 2016. Fuck. Every year, uh, I don't know. I think that music, though, the way that they did the, like the piano, was kind of was it was like a little different than the you know original score. I liked it. Little Wait, different. so is the next episode? Is that supposed to come out next December? Yep. Yeah. So it's like so they're it really sandwiching is a yearly it. Thing. Yeah. yeah, they're sandwiching it. Well, wasn't the wasn't episode eight supposed to come out this year and then they pushed it back? Um, I'm not sure if that was their original plan or not. I think it was, but now I see why. Yeah, I, I like that they're giving more time for that because I think they should put you know take as much time for this new trilogy we're getting <clears throat> that goes with the original sagas. You know, well, as as I, I just hope for the sake of the the diehard fans that you know they're actually pumping out. If they're gonna do so many films, I hope they're quality. You know, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Fall into that trap of let's just you know oh we got to meet the the yearly fucking deadline, so let's slap yeah. it together. You know, right? Yep. Did you um did you see that post I posted in the chat about how my buddy was the one who edited that? trailer yeah yeah and how like um lucas films was like on them about like how dark it looked and they were like till like he was there till like nine in the morning doing like color correction on it before it launched was that yeah that was like the day before it it dropped. was the, yeah yeah uh-huh they were yeah, fucking I, emailing him and shit that he was saying he was getting pissed i remember seeing you post that kind of like shocked me i'm thinking fuck they really you know i figured <laughs> they would sit on it for a while you know no exactly it's crazy <laughs> shit dude like, oh. like yeah. he finishes it and it, it's out the next day it's crazy yeah. we should uh, try and get that dude on the podcast talk about you know some of the shit yeah. he's worked on and all that see if he's yeah, actually sure. your friend or just saying that <laughs> i posted it in there see if your audio gets any better <laughs> it's my audio shit sorry no filmies oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> but uh no and then filmies for you buddy oh. uh, well for all of us i think fantastic beast and where to find them new trailer is this the official trailer uh, we we had a teaser, you know, a while back that we did a trailer reaction for. Yeah, it's true. I think it was an official trailer, and my God, when that man. Harry Potter music comes in, chills, chills. <laughs> you, you you said it, brother. That when that music comes on, oh my God, it, I, I'll agree. I'll agree with you. But the I'll agree too. the one thing awesome. threw me a little bit from this trailer. Dan Fogler from uh, Take Me Home Tonight. Yeah, Balls is that him? Yeah. yeah. He's playing. Like, a, he's playing a muggle, so he's not. A, he's not magic or anything. But <laughs> he's not magic. Yeah. He's not magic. He it's wouldn't. Okay. He wouldn't be magic. <laughs> he's like. He's he, like knockoff. Uh, Coe and Cambria. Wait. So this is. <laughs> I, I still don't know what's going. This is prequel or what? This is. What is this? This is about like seventy pre- years before Harry Potter, and it's basically okay. about the guy who wrote one of the books that they read in school, Fantastic Beasts oh, and Where to Find Him. And it's his journey to write that book and find the creatures and this is yeah, New York. And he was yeah, and he was it's like this it's like some kind of New York secret like wizard establishment thing or something yeah. that's going on. Kind of hidden but, uh, within Is it New York or is it London it's or what is it? No, it's New York, yeah. Okay. Right. But uh no, yeah. I think it's it I New mean York, sir. it's fucking New York. <laughs> it's New York, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks. I mean, I got the Harry Potter vibe from it. You know, no, you so know what? I was, that's I was what telling I Big D earlier. I'm usually the first one that would be like, "Oh my god, keep milking this fucking Harry Potter shit," you know, and slam <laughs> yeah, it up. Yeah. But I watched that, and I mean, I, it looked fucking good. You know, it really did. So yeah, I mean, it's got the vibe, and I think what surprises me, well, maybe not so much, but the fact that they already have big names, they're not like trying to get some new names in there. I guess. I mean, they got yeah. Colin Farrell yeah. and. That that was another issue I had a little bit was Colin Farrell. You just I, I I don't mind the guy, but don't throw him in a Harry Potter franchise. Like he's too. You see Colin Farrell, you don't see anyone else. You know. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I, I'm pumped. It's uh. It definitely got me more excited than that that teaser we watched. I know it was cool. I, I watch it for sure. That's uh. That's supposed to come out hopefully late November. November eighteenth. I actually know the date. It's uh, David Yates directed that though, and also my boy Ezra Miller has some kind of role. I don't know if it's like you know maybe know. not human because he wasn't. I didn't see him in the trailer or anything. But Ooh. I'm a, I'm a fan. Maybe I he'll like play Ezra. A, maybe he'll play a young Tom Riddle. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Ezra Tom Miller. E- e- Ezra Miller, big time now. Batman vs Superman, Harry Potter. That's right. That's oh, right. oh, see in there. Yeah, he's, he's in the Flash. He's Flash. 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, see, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I don't like that whole thing. But that—that's just me. I like the guy in all these. Like any indie film, I've seen him in. He's great. See the island. Perks being a wildflower. Great. Stand for yep, prison yep. experiment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's good in that too. Keir Gilchrist. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> Two. <laughs> we'll see if he actually gets big. Who should have put him in the fucking <laughs> Harry Potter? Up. Who cares, Gilchrist? No. Oh, oh, <laughs> come on now. We can uh, here. I think, Cure fan. Uh, I think it was this past weekend. I guess they had like the MTV Movie Awards or whatever. You know that you yes. know they. Why are they do. so late? Like fuck! It's like old I, news now. Yeah, I know. It's right? usually in June. I thought. Uh, Jesus Christ! They there was like a first look at Skull Island. Uh, I don't know if you guys are <laughs> excited. Skull Fuck Island. Skull Walt Disney Head Fuck Island. I mm. couldn't really get a grasp of what it's even about. Yeah, someone explained this to me too. When does this fucking take place? What is this? Uh, King World Kong. War, it's World what War is it? This is in the seventies or in the late sixties. No, 60s, no you're Vietnam. right. Sorry, Vietnam. Where does this fall in the King Kong uh, timeline, though? It's supposed to be an origin story of some kind, anyway. Yeah, but he was around back in like the twenties. As <laughs> yeah, far I don't as get it. Yeah. So how that's, old? Is- I mean, that's if you're going by that. You know, maybe it's a whole new thing. So yeah, this see, is that- supposed to before King Kong. Yeah, his origin story. I mean, what else do you need? Yeah, maybe it's not like... It's just... uh, Maybe it's like their own take on it. It's just kind of... Yeah, it's like a revamp of it. Yeah, I mean, I I couldn't... It just seems like they're searching the whole time, at least from that sneak peek. I couldn't really tell if you're supposed to see Kong or, you know, what's supposed to go on. I think it was just more of an on-the-set thing, not really, you know... It's not really giving much away, you know. Hopefully it doesn't go the route of the Godzilla... Like the Godzilla movie did a few years back. This is what I was just talking about. This is one of those examples... Who the fuck is asking for a King Kong prequel origin story? Right. Yeah. Oh, well, I think I think it's their setup to uh, do like Kong King versus Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. And oh, and, and I think I think with the success of those Planet of the Apes, you know, the revamps of those, like maybe that's uh, you know pushing it a little bit. Yeah. Well, I mean, Go- Godzilla didn't tank. Godzilla did pretty good. Even no, yeah, they, they gave they gave so. the guys Star Wars Rogue One. So yeah, exactly. I mean, so. Um, is uh, Andy Serkis supposed to be in it? Ooh. Uh, I don't think so, but it has like uh, Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, Sam Jackson, uh, John Goodman as <laughs> King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> as Kong. Uh, uh, and then it has... Uh, it's got the two guys from uh, Straight Outta Compton, too. Yeah, it's got Corey Hawkins, Jason Mitchell, uh, Thomas Mann, ton- a lot of people. Ooh, Thomas Mann? Yeah, Are you guys Mann. King Kong fans? Anyone? Uh, I mean, the original, yeah. Original's good. I was going to get into that. You guys have seen that in 1933? Yeah. Got the yeah. Digibook, son. Okay. Yep. Uh, I don't hate Peter Jackson's version, but, you know. It's, little, it's too long. Yeah, yeah it's it just, too long. Yeah, it needs, CGI is kind of bad, it's too. It's a solid movie. You need to cut out that whole beginning part. Yeah, it's just like, it doesn't need to be three hours. Come I, on. I still haven't seen that, actually. Uh, Matt sent me that so long ago to me. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, what about, like uh, you guys seen the one from the 70s with Jeff Bridges and Charles Grodin? No. That I haven't seen, but Charles Grodin? Love yeah, that it's, guy. Yeah, uh, it's 1976. I remember whenever Franz was on here, uh, his favorite. What's her name's in it, right? Uh, and that was he was talking about that 70s one. Yeah, what's her name? I forgot her name. From all the American Horror Story. Oh, Jessica Lane is. Just, yeah, she's like the main. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. I know what you're talking about. But no, uh, I don't know. I've, I've seen the original. I've seen the uh, Peter Jackson. The original's great, though. That's uh that's planned for March of uh, next year. So. Okay. I don't know. I'm I'm interested in it. You know, Brie I love Larson, baby. I, yeah, I love Brie Larson. So, and I love I love the cast. You know, so far the cast is good. Yep. Uh, just it, if it starts to explain what the story is going to be, maybe. So is the cast of Movie Forty Three. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Fuck. That's a that's a that's a, that's a, a totally different thing, though. But that's a completely point. great point. <laughs> well, that was a bunch of different shit shot together and put together. It's not like a, a but production. they were still in it. Yeah, but it's not the same at all. I'm a fan see, of the uh, <laughs> the Planet of the Apes uh, reboot, though. I love those fucking. Oh movies. yeah, me too. Which one do you like more, the first or second one? I like the first one more. Same. Me too. Same. I liked the set when I first saw Dawn. I was like, okay, this is great. But then I rewatched it again, and that first one is is something something special. Lithgow, bro. Oh, so good. Man. He is. He is great, and and Franco really. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. John Lithgow is a fucking underrated. Hell yeah, he is. Uh, Shut up, I mean, Yeah, <laughs> just watch season four of Dexter. If you're Hello, listening. Dexter Morgan. Yeah, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's one of the most chilling performances ever, man. It's fantastic. Does uh, War of the Planet of the Apes, does that come out this year? Oh, is that the next one? Yeah. Oh, I've, I haven't really heard much about that. Uh, 
yeah, I'm not sure. I'm curious. I'll look it up. Cool. No, uh, no, I was always a fan of those. Uh, I haven't watched it in quite some time, though. Oh, uh, July 14th next year. You ever seen the original Planet of the Apes? I haven't. Is that uh, Charles? Get yeah. the hand on you, you set? damn you dirty ape. Set? Well, I've got the DVDs and the Caesar head. I never bother. I've never. <laughs> it's hard to watch. if you if you only know Planet of the Apes from those reboots. It's fucking hard to watch. It seems like it's. I mean, dated. Just kind of yeah, guys in ape suits. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you guys see the trailer for that? I don't know if you guys were fans of the English Office with uh, Richard Dr- or Richard Gervais, Richie yeah. Gervais, Richie Gervais. Uh, yeah, I like Ricky Gervais. Well, uh, Is Ricky, <laughs> Ricky, Ricky. Uh, I mean, Gervais. we're on we're on different terms. So I call him Richie, but <laughs> you're oh, just yeah. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, what what, what about but it? No, there's a, there was a trailer for it's called David Brent Live on the Road. Uh, it's a revamp of his character from that show. Oh, oh shit. shit! I don't know if uh, a lot of people are familiar with the English Office. You know, only ran for about like 14 episodes, but then you know they did the American version of the Office that ran for like 10 seasons. Mm-hmm. He was an executive producer on that, but this is like a follow up to his character. What happened after the series? And he's like a rock and roll star, or some <laughs> shit. Is it sounds it a movie? like a, is this a but, movie or what is this? Yeah, it's a movie. I wasn't too big. Like I watched a few episodes of the English one, but I wasn't. Yeah. It's nowhere near as good as the American one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and me neither. But if you guys check out the trailer, he's like, "You may know me as whatever his name is in the show." He's like, "I was in the Office." <laughs> but he's because uh, you know, yeah, he's this uh, character. It's supposed to be like a documentary of uh, you know an office. You know, personally, I'm still waiting for an uh, an idiot abroad film. That's exactly what I was gonna oh, say. Yeah. <laughs> What's that guy's name again? Be an idiot, idiot abroad fucking movie right now. Carl Pilkington. Yeah, Carl. 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 But no, I just uh, I thought I thought it was interesting, you know, just that he's doing that with his character. He probably has been holding out, waiting to do that since that show yeah. ended. I thought you might be interested. I thought you might be interested in that. I know I'm I know interested. I, am. I know I'm interested. Are you interested oh. in uh, farting? A Swiss Army Man. Oh, oh yes. Talk about that trailer. Tell me, you guys, yeah. Tell me, you guys, check I, this out. Explain uh, that. I, film I don't know, man. I don't audience. know how I feel. About okay, that so it it definitely seems uh, it's like a far fetched thing. So Daniel Radcliffe plays a dead farting body. Yeah. That that uh, Paul Dano comes across, and he is literally a human Swiss Army knife. He could. It's it's so out there. It's so hard to explain. It's it like really out there. Everything okay, well, is so exa- exaggerated. Like he he uses him as a as a as a, jet, a jet ski, and yeah. he, he just has I don't know. It looks amazing. He uses a machine jet ski. gun. He jet uses a machine it looked gun. Like, uh, it looked like at the end of that trailer, he's riding a fucking seahorse. I would say dolphin. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. Fucking yeah. Ugh. He uses him as a machine gun. Um, as an axe but the the opening it starts out like super intense you know he's like hanging himself and he's on a cooler and he runs up to the body and then i think that like was what really, most people at like sundance had a problem with was like the if farting castaway stuff. was an indie comedy yeah it, yeah castaway meets like uh i get that it's like weekend at bernie's it's like that fr- like frank you guys remember that movie <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that kind of comedy in a way to me i don't know weird like comedy really like the lobster comedy. Yeah, yeah, like a dark comedy. Yeah. Kind of. I think uh, I think it looks quirk. I think it looks amazing, honestly. Amazing? I don't know if I'd go there with it, but uh, well, yeah, <laughs> but you're not me, and I think well, it is. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, you know, it looked okay. Uh, amazing. We're slapping that word on everything nowadays. I, that's the first time I think I said that in a long time. Hey, it's okay if you think it looks amazing. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, I don't know. We, looks interesting. We all know you don't know yeah. comedy. It's, I look, interesting. I, I, will, I can see an independent film with Paul Dano and Daniel Radcliffe right now. There's a good yeah. word for it. It looks yeah. interesting. There we go. It's interesting. We'll, we'll go but, with uh, your terminology. <laughs> no, yeah, amazing. Yourself. You guys were talking. I'm dying. Uh, you guys were talking about uh, <laughs> this, Goodbye, uh, Seth. Batman vs. Superman, though, you know, a little bit. And, like, you know, this is almost considered a flop at this point. Like it's really fucking insane. Like it's supposed, to, it's not going to make a, a near as much money as the Man of Steel movie made. I saw it was I, uh, over taken by uh, the boss with Melissa McCarthy. Uh, yeah, shut up. Really? Yeah. So, oh my god, like, this is the kind of shit that can knock out a studio. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. Sp- I think Spielberg was talking about this years ago. Like they're going to make a movie like this with a fucking like five hundred dollar budget, 
and they're going to lose like you know hundreds of millions of dollars. Is that the reports on the box office? Is, no, is it just not fucking brought in a big well, audience? They, I feel they, like everyone went to see it. It had it, it had the, the worst like decline in a weekend ever. Yeah, like sixty eight percent or some shit. shit. Like as as of right now, like you know, with the sixty eight percent decline or whatever, it's on the pace of uh, Fantastic Four last year. Oh, oh man! They said um, if it doesn't make a billion dollars, it's a flop, basically. And they have so many movies lined up for that fucking thing. Yeah, yep. and they're they're also talking about taking away some of those movies now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the budget. I just love the budget for the film was just like two hundred fifty million, you know, and it's only made three hundred million since it's been out. No, I don't think that's like, true. Well, at least according to IMDb, you know, as of. 20 minutes ago. Uh oh, fact check. Go ahead, fact check it. But, I, I will. I will. And then, uh, you know, their like marketing alone was 165 million. <laughs> Dude, yeah. put all that money together. How many movies would they have been able to make? Warner Brothers, you know? <laughs> I just love, you know, the guy. I, and there's. There are a few of them on my Facebook list. A guy, guys that have, were hyping it up for three years, and they went to see it. And they they know it wasn't that great, but they, they have won't to admit insist it. on letting everyone know every day that it's a great movie. You know? The critics it's are like, wrong. It's like who the fuck are you fooling, motherfucker? You know you don't think it's all that great. <laughs> and um, now there's there's talks of like you know they're going to try to release an R-rated cut to theaters. Like to like I think Warner Brothers right now is like scrambling and trying to do whatever they can to yeah, save it. You know, yeah. let's make it longer. It's uh, yeah. it's currently at seven hundred eighty-five million worldwide. Well, yeah, worldwide. So, but as far as in the U.S., like it only made like fifty mil last weekend. That's like not good. Yeah, for, yeah uh, something no, big like that usually, for less than a month. No. Yeah, that uh, big title like that well, usually sustains for a while. I mean, Batman vs Superman is supposed to be like you know the biggest fight of all time. Yeah, blah, of course. Blah, you know, kind yeah. of thing. But but when it when it when it's only for like a minute. Or two minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one's going to give a fuck. I don't know. It's just, you know, like Warner Brothers, I feel like this is like the movie for them this year. Like they were relying on this to, you know, make a ton of money and it's it's just not happening. They need, studios need to start doing the 10 Cloverfield Lane ploy, you know. Don't okay. don't drop it till two months before it's released. Right. And, yeah, could you imagine if they dropped a trailer, uh, a trailer out of nowhere for a Batman vs. Superman movie that nobody knew about? It's coming out in three months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah. You know, instead you hype it up for three years and just let everyone down. The hype, the hype only works against you. Yeah, they they gave the filmmakers like an extra year to supposedly, you know, make sure their vision was complete. That's right. I forgot about that. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. It's it's just a really terrible, you know, kind of thing. But Uh, yeah, Batman vs Superman. I think it's funny. Oh, I do too. It's comedy. (laughs) I was so sick of hearing about that shit. I think it's funny that it came out and got blasted. Yeah. His ass was blasted. Well, yeah, like you <laughs> Blast said. Blasted ass. Like you said, the ones that waited three years are not going to admit <laughs> it was bad until a year from now. It's just funny, though, because now it's like they're, they're at the stage where it's like, I've got to let everyone know that I don't think it was shitty. Like, yeah. I mean, still, I still see people fucking every day. It's like, all right, fine. You liked it. Cool. Let's move yeah. on now. And. Yeah. And you know, I know it's been you know shit on and all that, but if if they do do an R-rated cut to theaters, I personally might go see it just because I want to know what it would be like to see an R-rated Batman movie. You know, I because I I mean I am a fan of you know that kind of thing anyway. But oh, I don't. Yeah, I mean I don't know how much it's gonna add, but it, yeah, I mean I don't. I I really don't know, but I'd be. We're gonna need about two bags, two boxes of cookie bites. So. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> probably so. Large <laughs> cokes. I'd be interested in seeing the R cut. <laughs> But yeah, no. I, other than that, uh, I didn't see a whole lot of uh, news this week. You know, other than you know, Batman vs Superman <laughs> getting its asshole reamed. Uh, Jungle okay. Bo- Jungle Book Two is already in development. Well, what? I see that the first one or the one that's coming out is doing quite well, doing critically really, doing really well. That's, which, uh, that's which makes me a little bit curious. Yeah, it's good for John Favreau, dude, because you know that's one of those guys that started out really small, yeah. you know, as a writer and you know trying was, trying to make it as a writer director. He was great, Rudy. He is. Oh, yeah. He's great, and I love you, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. Fucking love that guy. But uh, as Blu-ray releases, uh, you guys got anything this week? I got, got? I, got a, I got a little bit of news, actually. Uh, go, go for it. Some, uh, some that uh, were announced for getting released. I don't know if you guys have heard this. Stallone classic. Uh, Stop or my mom uh, will shoot. Huh? It's yeah, a, he literally, he literally uh, said uh, the title in the movie. It's a <laughs> buddy cop movie with Stallone and uh, an 80-year-old woman. Oh, I thought Ray Liotta was in there. It must be something else. <laughs> Is it, isn't it? Isn't it one of the chicks from Golden Girls? I, it looks like it. I, it? I wouldn't I'll doubt it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's see. What's the movie called? Stop, Stop. or my mom, mom will shoot. shoot. Oh, I know what that is. That is yeah. fucking uh yeah, that is a chick from <laughs> Gold Girls. Now I know yeah. what this is. God. Yeah. You that's know, coming uh, out on Blu-ray? Yeah, Gil- Gilbert Grape, no. Uh <laughs> This Boy's Life, no. no but no, no. Stop no. or my mom will shoot, yeah. Blank check, no. It's a go. Yeah, like I, I don't know. I haven't seen this movie, but why is this getting released over some of the other stuff that this is gonna be like something? a Mill Creek title or something? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I'm Not sure. I'm sure. Ours version one will get this. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, There's a big blue coming out actually this week. And then uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, mm-hmm. Did you guys see that the Jaws sequels are getting released? That artwork on those. Yeah, Six Paul. Fun? Let me know. Paul. Paul Jassic. Oh, Pauly, what's up, buddy? Oh, I haven't talked to that guy forever, but uh, Jaws 2, doesn't that have Roy Scheider in it? I yeah. believe it does. Have you guys watched any of these sequels? I've seen it them all. sucks. Dude, yeah. the Randy Quick one rules. I don't care what you say. It's uh, <laughs> War, The Revenge. If you want to watch three? Jaws, three, right? just, pop, just pop in the original Jaws. Avoid those sequels like the fucking plague. No. Yeah. yeah. I'm Dude. a fan of number four with Michael Caine. It's no oh. number five. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Michael Caine. Jaws right 3 has Quaid, I think. That's 3D. Jaws 3D. Shit. Well, they're gonna remake Jaws any day now. Ugh. They did. It's called The Shallows. Oh, God, <laughs> I'm surprised they actually haven't. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, no, that's that's really all the things that come out. I'm I'm kind of excited for those. I would snag them for a cheap price, maybe. Well, it's fun, dumb. How know. much are they going for? Like ten bucks? Oh, I'm sure they'll be cheap as fuck. Um, let me get a price on you. Let me get the price. Yeah, cut. I think yeah, I think Jaws 3D or well, that's. Like even the it's weird because the second Jaws movie is like the special features is tons like a John Williams John Williams <laughs> who? what Shh, where what? John Williams uh, score thing on, I believe that was like, a Gibbs thing I think some of those have like a uh, you know kind of developed like cult status oh I think so yeah 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 they're just fun you know I mean it is what it is but as long as you don't really expect Jaws the original then yeah have a good time mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. It's almost that time. Summer's around the corner. I need to pop it in. It is, man. That is one of the best That's, Blu-rays, by yeah. the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. I remember when I first got that, I was just like, oh, my God, man. Yeah, it looks never seen, transfer, never seen right? it like that. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yep. And uh, the special features on that. It's great, great uh, documentary a, stuff. Yeah, it was, uh, like, you know, the first blockbuster, so there's tons of shit about it. That yeah. fucking movie, man. I mean, God. Is that, that animatronic shark. No? no, but it's, I mean, it's great. An animatronic shark still looks better than anything a computer can make. Yeah. Yep. What was I the do. shark's name? Bruce. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's right. Fucking awesome. Uh, Bruce wh- Ultrata. So uh, what we got coming out to Blu-ray in theaters this week, guys? All right, so coming out to Blu-ray, April 19, 2016. Ooh, we got a good one. <laughs> we, we got Leo. Leo's coming. Leo's coming. Uh, what? The Revenant's we got coming the out? Revenant. I'm coming. The Revenant. The I'm coming. <laughs> the, the Damn, I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna go grab that. Actually, I didn't know that was coming out this week. You gonna get that I 4K too. Ultra HD? <laughs> no, I would never. <laughs> I need a TV. Anyone want to send me money? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just tap into that ten thousand dollars? <laughs> yeah, I think Gage just hit you with a steel book. Uh, yeah, chill out. out. Okay. I think you're good. <laughs> Starting to notice a little I like I can't get fl- I can't get Wellgo to give me a title. What makes Starting you think to notice that? a little flickering, you know, when I'm watching something or I'm uh, playing MLB. Oh, but, that's depressing. Could yeah, it's just really cells. subtle, but I know I'm going to try and turn it on one day. It's going to be nothing. <laughs> they're they're cheap now. The 4K TVs are getting really cheap. Definitely getting 4K. Have, then have you ever it. noticed any issue from your lights? People have told me that those uh, will you know fuck up the TV, like the you know being so hot on the back. Or, yeah, I, I don't know, not that I know of, but fuck. Who knows? Someone's told me that before, so I don't know. I was just wondering. Not they sure. Faulty ones. That's why your TV <laughs> sucks, bitch. <laughs> That's why your TV sucks, bitch. That's but yeah, I think we're, are we all going to pick this up? Oh, yeah. Oh, I am. Seth, Seth, can we get a movie trip, bud? Yeah, yeah, you know, I wish there was an exclusive, though. Yeah, I'd be more inclined to yeah. go grab it. It's like, I, I wish there was something, you know, I know I'm the first guy. It's all about the movie, not about the fucking case that it's in. But it's pretty bare bones. Still, well, somebody yeah, told me it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be similar to Birdman, how it folds out and all that. Oh, okay. That's all what right. someone told me anyway, so. Cool. Who's this someone? Uh, Blu-ray <laughs> Bryn Dwyer. Nathan Auger? Okay. All right. <laughs> but uh, no, what else we got? Leo rules. Okay, so then we got it. Well, that's it, Leo. That's it. No, we have a uh, uh, Scream Factory, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Oh, uh, ah. it's coming out, which I, I enjoy that film. It's it's cheesy as fuck, but uh, you know. collector's edition. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got that. It's got a good artwork. Yeah, I like no, it. I like that. I, man, I really want to get in those Scream Factories, but I just know that I'll be like, why did I spend, like, I could have bought a Criterion. Get them on eBay or something. I mean, try to get them if you don't like that shitty, cheesy horror, which most of them are, then there's no yeah. point. But I love the slipcover. <laughs> If you want to, you know, yeah. If you want to get into them to collect the the paper, then hey, man, <laughs> it's hey, cardboard. It's screen wave. Thanks for using my bank account. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, that's what it is. All the ad revenue. It's a en- enjoy screen that screen factory. Someone want to send me a? Uh, uh, someone want to? No. Mark me down for no. Return of the Living Dead. In July. Dead. Want to mark you down for what? Return of the Living Dead collector's edition. Thanks. Ooh. Yeah, oh, is that what too. you want? I'll take it. So is that more than a criterion? Because uh, I'm not doing that. Twenty five. Yeah, it's around the later. Same <laughs> Come on, you better. Uh, I hope you can. You know, your wife. I hope you can stay alive till June at least. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, <good God. laughs> it's fine. You can live with HIV. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, Seth, Seth doesn't too. have HIV. Magic Yarrington. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. So we also got an Arrow release for USA. The stuff is finally coming to Stop. USA. You already got diabetes, so don't. Be <laughs> yeah, that's why case. I was. Uh, that's why I was trying to, you know, let people know that you don't have it. Okay. Oh, do you, you want to do that? Do you want to? What? Do you want to say that you don't have it? <laughs> no, <I'm moving laughs> don't. Okay. I'm healthy that I know of. <laughs> so love is coming to Blu-ray. Uh, the TV that, show? Uh, no, that Gasper Noe, whatever Noe film. That- oh. But it's funny because this edition is 3D. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, yeah. Is that the one with so, like the, the It's like the people... threesome. Okay. Three tongues on the cover. Yeah. yeah. Mm, it's 3D. Ooh, I can't so, wait to know, this edition. 3D dick. There's, how about a box set with that, Enter the Void, and whatever else he's done? That other <laughs> weird one, right? That'd be a day one for me, buddy. Irres- irresistible. Oh, whatever. wow. <laughs> Count me <laughs> in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fuck you! Awesome. No, that I was I was imitating filmies. Oh, <laughs> neat. But, but yeah, that seems to be what's uh, coming out to bluesies. What about uh, theaters? Uh, we got a few things. Speaking of, we have the Jungle Book coming out. You guys are gonna go uh, check it out? I'm not. Absolutely not. No, never. <laughs> Even if it's doing so well, it wouldn't happen. I don't give a crap. If it's got a fucking a hundred percent. It does though. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> okay. You probably care about this one, Criminal, with Kevin Costner, Gary Oldman. <laughs> probably, the, probably the most generic-looking action I'm movie. I'm so Ooh, down for that movie. It's down to title a movie, and you come up with Criminal. Oh. That's the best you can fucking come up with? I'm a criminal. God, I'm a that's criminal. so generic. That's what? like that movie Heist. Yeah, they should, title, make a, they, should make a, criminal. they should make a set with Heist, Criminal, and other generic titles. Kevin, one title. if you're listening, buddy, let's get the ball rolling on Waterworld 2. Give the people what they want. <laughs> Ooh, like this one, Barbershop, the next cut. Ooh. Oh, hopefully it's some fucking back. wrist slitting. Oh, did it. Hopefully it's Ice Cube slitting his wrist because the barbershop's going under this time. Oh, <laughs> god. Okay. And then, uh, <laughs> ooh, hmm. the green room with Anton Yelkin. Oh yeah, that's that weird one, right? Oh, is that Patrick Stewart? Ben Ken- yeah, ben- Patrick yeah, Stewart. Patrick Stewart. Is that one going to be limited, or do you know? Probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, that means we don't get it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it doesn't say it is, but I would assume Sorry, so. Sorry, Granite. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't coming to Davenport Rave motion pictures. <laughs> Davenport Rave. I don't know. It sounds like something that would happen in those Is that cities. your art house theater? Art house? Oh, There's no we, such thing. Oh, we got an art house theater in Iowa City. It's called Film Scene. Ooh. Art house? There's no such thing. <laughs> What's that? Uh, um, number two screening there. Oh, that, uh, what an artsy movie. I don't know what the art house theater. It didn't match up with their uh, <laughs> motto, but uh, weren't you talking yes. about weren't you talking about this one a little bit ago, Nick? The Adderall Diaries. By a little bit, I mean months months ago. Uh, yeah, James Franco is in that with Amber Heard, maybe. Yeah, Christian Slater and Ed Harris. Uh, I thought it looked interesting, but you guys said it looked like a Lifetime movie. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. It does a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a lot of those. I I thought it was like kind of like a po- well, Matt definitely would like it, but I was thought it was like Palo Alto because isn't that based on like mm-hmm. James Franco's like diaries Ooh. of high school or something? Book, 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 if we're talking about that, then I don't sure. know that it's even the same realm, but you know maybe Adderall. And, 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 you know, I gotta give Palo Alto another chance. So Addy, can I have Addy it back? <laughs> Sorry, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's mine. Goes that's, in my um, Emma Roberts shelf. It's Addy World, baby. <laughs> Addy uh, World. That's it for this. Next week. To your shark in the jar. 
Uh, yep. Don't get on that subject. Okay. <laughs> don't oh, talk about my, my endeavors. <laughs> got my adult section over here. It's covered up. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that uh, that all we got, though, Filmies? Yep, that's it for this week. Well, uh, I do know that, you know, I know you mentioned it last week, and uh, Everybody Wants Some uh, got a limited release, but this weekend it gets a wide release. So hopefully uh, some of us will be able to go and see it. I don't believe it, because I still don't get it, so they're lying. Really? Maybe you're just yeah, not, not wide a... enough out there. Well, I, I, I guess. <laughs> I looked on Friday. Not there. But there's uh, 10 showings of my big, fat, fat Greek shit, too. Oh, great. <laughs> My big fat Greek shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with uh, you know, with Richard Linklater, you know, no. if you guys listen to this podcast, <laughs> we love the guy. Richie, love. He, he's got a he's got uh. a movie coming out. Everybody wants some, so we thought it was only right to do the uh, you know, the Richard Linklater retrospective. Yes, we've done a few of these. This one just makes sense. This one's at this gonna point be a little time. up and down. This uh this may be my favorite one, even though we yes. haven't done it yet, but. because <laughs> Richard Linklater is my is my favorite. So, yeah, yeah. he's he's high up there. But uh, I mean, the How guy. How can we do your around. guys' favorites? What do you want to do next? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, bud. <laughs> but uh, I mean, the guy has been you know making films <laughs> since you know the late eighties, early nineties. Uh, Not doing a Gangster Squad analysis. <laughs> Oh, off. I know. Why did you give it? So- okay, anyway, we're not going to get into it. Well, did you read the review? It's not based on the movie. It's based my enjoyment. All right, back to Richard. Fuck this shit. <laughs> you yeah, brought it God. up, dummy. Go ahead, Nick. D. We'll save it for uh, what we watched, but Link later. The guy is... I can't even explain the guy. Mastermind. So but... talk about him, then. I will talk about him, Filmies. Why don't you fucking <laughs> pull your right. hair back? God damn it. <laughs> but uh, he started out in 1985 with a little short film, seven minutes long, kind of s- not similar to what we did, but <laughs> similar in the way that he started out with a seven-minute short film. I just I think it's great. It's called Woodshock. It's like an homage to like these uh, Woodstock type of films. I did check it out. It's available on the Slacker Blu-ray Criterion if you guys own that. Mm. Okay. It's just like uh, it's almost like uh, the ending of Days Confused, like the party scene at the Moon Tower. It's just like okay. like that kind of footage. I don't know. I got that vibe. Just people partying, you know, so like at a just concert. Walking around a concert, talking to people. R- yeah, I mean that's pretty much what, all it is. Exactly <laughs> seven seven minutes of that. But it was just cool to see, you know, his what what he did, you know, first, and then uh, I didn't even know that existed until you talked about it. Well, yeah, I didn't either, and then I started digging into that Slacker Criterion, uh, which that, that Criterion has a ton of stuff, but uh, then it also has his first feature film, which he did everything on. It's called uh, It's Impossible to Learn to Plow by Reading Books, 1988. It's like hour and 20 minutes. It it's has also, that on there? Yeah, it's also on that Slacker Criterion. Damn. It has a commentary for it and everything, actually. Uh, but no, it's basically Richard Linkler shot and directed it and did everything, edited I mean, everything there is to do. Like Three thousand dollar budget. Yeah, he would set the camera up and like walk in front of it and like you know act. It was, What's he doing though? What's the plot? Well, like he's basically like uh, like basically. I I only listened to the commentary. I didn't even watch the movie because there's like no dialogue really. But basically, he buys like a train, a pass for like a train to go around the country, and like you're, it's like two hundred bucks or some shit. And like he stops in like San Francisco and like another city and another city, just like people he knew. And like he filmed it, but he tried, you know, he made a movie out of it. Cool. It, it, I don't know, it's really interesting. It was, it was really uh, kind of inspiring in the way, like the guy fucking did everything, you know, himself without any help. He didn't want anybody. I didn't, I didn't know. know that Criterion was a uh, was fat like that one. Around. Knew did yeah. I? Yeah. I mean, it's really, cool. it's really interesting, you know. That's why you pay a pretty penny for those. You get the mm-hmm. get the goods. <laughs> and then uh, you get up to like the movie that kind of you know threw Richard Linklater on the map, Slacker, 1991. Uh, I think we've all, you guys have all seen this, right? Yeah, yeah, I have. I yep. still need to own it, though. I don't own it yet. Yeah, it's it's one of those that it got worse with each viewing. But when I <laughs> when I when I watched that uh, commentary, dude, I swear it like revamped the whole thing for me. Just because I learned a lot about like filmmaking and stuff from listening to him talk about it, you know. Yeah, when I first bought that, I didn't even know. I didn't even know who it was. It was like one of the first criterions I bought. You know, I was just looking for Same. something interesting. So I watched it. I'm like, you know, I didn't really even fucking. Wasn't really on the link later train, you know, at that yeah. point. So I need to go back and watch it now that, you know, I appreciate all the shit. Right. Yeah, because I wasn't big on it the first time I watched it either. But I think now I'd be more appreciative of it's, it. It's it's cool how it's done though, you know. It's just like a it, it's nonstop movement. Right. You know, there's yeah. 
Yeah, and you like never get bored with it because it's always something different every fucking couple minutes. He was just, you know, at the time trying to do something different that hadn't been done, and I mean that was for sure, you know, that's something that's you know not really been done since, in that yeah. that sort of way anyway, you know. Yeah, it's just like yeah. um, if you're listening, you don't know what it is. Kind of like a, it's just like a constant flow of characters. You know, you'll you'll be seeing one segment, and then it kind of passes off to somebody else, and then it goes into that character, and that's pretty much the gist of the film. But it's it's yeah. definitely unique, you know. Supposed to be like a day in the life of you know the people in yeah. Austin, Texas. So, yep. yeah. But uh, Madonna's Pap smear, yeah. She great. There's some great boom mic shots in that. Yeah, film. make sure make sure <laughs> if you guys do like get on a special features thing on that Blu-ray, check out like there's a ten or twenty year thing for Slacker like anniversary. The chick that played the Madonna's Pap smear, oh my god. Oh, is she on there? It, she looks like uh, a dead transvestite. Like, <laughs> oh, it's it's really bad. What's her name? Let's rate her. Oh, no. There is. <laughs> I don't want to be not sick. E- there's not even a rating to rate this one, buddy. <laughs> she was the drummer of the butthole surfers. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, really? That's right. That does mean oi, no oi, good. Oi. Yeah, no, that, that whole Madonna pap schmear thing was, like, supposedly a story that uh, she had told Richard Linklater, like, a year prior, because they were, like, friends, I guess, or whatever. It was like, hey, I want you to redo that thing you told me, like, a year ago. Oh really? Because the guy's like really weird. Like it's for some reason. Like anytime he had any like interesting like conversation with anyone like over his life, he like documented it. Like he oh, wrote it down movie. in a diary. You well, know, it's worked for him. Oh no, I <laughs> I agree. Well, you know, like if you're a Linklater fan, you haven't seen Slacker. It's you got to watch it just because of what it is. And, you oh know, it's, yeah, it's early Linklater, but good God, some of the acting in that film. Holy <laughs> yeah. shit. <laughs> It's well, like it's he's, it's he's trying to pull off. It's, it's completely real. <laughs> he's trying to pull off like you know five minute takes with people who, are, who aren't actors. Yeah, they're yeah, not actors. actors. Yeah. You and know, it you, shows, but it's it's very fascinating how it's uh, you know it's just the yeah. history of it. Yeah, and I mean a lot of people I know that uh, like Kevin Smith that you know made him think he could make Clerks. You know, and he yeah, that's made right. it. So uh, I was got to think what a guy like Linklater thinks when he hears that. You know, shit. I yeah. Mean, that film inspired Kevin Smith, which is a whole different thing. I would have to assume, though, like, whenever, like, for me, you know, when we go watch, like, our shorts that we did, I'm like, oh, God. Like, what do you think Linklater feels when he watches Slacker? Like, <laughs> probably can't see yeah, 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 it. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? You always analyze your own stuff, you know, because you worked on it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that was probably a film that he was really, like, I mean, I think they made that for, like, 25 grand, if that, like, 23, and it made over a million dollars. That's Damn. a huge success. Huh. Yeah, I mean that's you know, it, I don't know. He he got really lucky with that film. I think you know, just it it got seen by the right people at the the right time. You know, yeah, that's yeah. what it takes sometimes. But uh, then you go up to ninety three, my personal favorite film uh, ever made, Dazed and Confused. The great Wiley Wiggins. Oh, Good. it's a great performance. That's, uh, I th- go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, I think uh, you know, I think this is kind of a universally like. Cult, one of the biggest cult movies there is, probably you know. Yeah, I mean everyone's yeah. everyone's Days and Confused. Yeah, because it didn't start off that way at all. Like you know, that was a flop. Like that was a studio. That was Richard Linkler's first attempt at like a studio movie, and it didn't you know didn't make much at all. It's like made for six million. I think it like all the test screenings. People are like you know they hated the ending. If you guys uh-huh. know the ending of that movie, they like are just going to uh, get concert tickets for Aerosmith. Yeah, <laughs> yep. or whatever. But well, I know filmies. I know you didn't like care for it a whole lot when you had watched it. Uh, yeah, that was also like, like two years ago. Whenever we first started talking, so I feel like just like Slacker. If I watched it again, I'll have another whole appreciation appreciation for it. Yeah, like I think Days is light <clears throat> above you know Slacker. Right. Oh yeah, it, sure. it's a great film. I love it. But, uh, again, you know, like Wiley Wiggins. God, he sucks. Oh yeah, he's, he's fucking. A, he's uh, horrible in that I, movie. I couldn't get past him. I thought it was a girl the whole yeah. time. <laughs> I had to. I had to say this on your. Uh, I listened to. I re-listened to the days commentary recently, and uh, Linklater says on there, he's like, "I'm the one who made Wiley grab his nose." Okay. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh he's my like, god. So for all you people out there, I'm the one who made him do it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Because we always make fun of like, "Oh god, I hate that jerk." Yeah, he just. Uh, he, <laughs> He's really hamming it up for the camera, but it's just, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I love it. It's a great film. I've seen it countless times. It may, I mean, it made a lot of you know a lot of people's careers at the time. McConaughey, oh, yeah. uh, 
ben you know, Affleck. I mean, Affleck. Yeah, Affleck, and uh, you know, a little interesting thing like Vince Vaughn auditioned for that same role Affleck had. It was like really tight between them two. So, oh, really? Damn. Yeah. If you guys could uh, picture Vince Vaughn in that role, you know, I could picture I could. Vince yeah. Vaughn as yeah. Batman. Well, he's <laughs> it, it, kind of the character. They probably would have done good then. He'd be kind of the character. He wasn't Rudy. He was a prick and Rudy. Like just That's imagine that. Days confused. Yeah. But uh, no, dude, it's all around great, great film, in my opinion. Uh, uh, Mila Jovovich. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Isn't and, Parker far, Posey in it too? Yeah, and Parker yeah, Posey. Parker yeah. Posey. Uh, fuck, I mean, it's got tons of people in it, but it's one of the best like period pieces of all time. I would say, like it, it really captures that. You don't think it was a, you wouldn't think it was a '90s film, you know? Well, that's, that's funny because I remember when I first watched that. Uh, you know, I was back when I was just very casual about watching movies. You know, I didn't really know shit about anything, but I remember thinking there's, you know, I thought it was a movie from that time. I didn't know it was a 90s film. That's how yeah. good it really yeah. captures that uh yeah. that period. So I agree totally. I'm as old as this movie. Yeah, it's like, holy <laughs> fuck. It's know? my birth year. This is my birth year. Movie. This is my birth year. But uh, no, dude, that, I mean, that movie just really does it for me. It's like uh, that that final scene with McConaughey uh, where he's given the speech to Pink Flo- Randall Pink Floyd about, you know, it's the same bullshit they tried to pull. You know, if it's not that, some something else they're going to be trying to make a decision for, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, mm-hmm. it's great. I just hate yeah. it. Like, it, was fucking, it was like, that, you know, when he runs to that old couple and the guy's like, eh, you know, we're expecting you to throw a lot of touchdowns this year or whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah. God, I hate fuckers like that. They're around here, you know? Mm-hmm. People yeah, are real invested in, like, high school sports. Yeah. like, Yep. Shit. Well, it's especially small towns like that. You know? Yeah, I work back to big things for me this year. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you know, the coach riding his ass, like, you know, you got to sign yep. this, that you're not going to do this, this, and this, you know, this yep. year. But, yeah, great. I, I love the ending, personally. I know some people oh, probably wouldn't agree, but... Oh, yeah. Fuck I, sports. Go to a concert. <laughs> I love that. I just love the idea of, like, them ending their night on, let's go get Aerosmith tickets. Yep. You know? That's, like, real oh, compared to... Uh, it's great, yeah. man. If they tried to incorporate like a love thing where it's like, oh, I got to kiss Joey Lauren Adams and make up at the end or something, you know, like. You fuck it. You fuck <laughs> <my tit. laughs> But now, uh, uh, dazed fucking rules. Then, <laughs> then we, uh, I don't even know where we go from here. 1995, before sunrise. Where do we go oh from here? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Turn all the lights out now. Yeah, uh, you know, the first film and what I consider probably the greatest trilogy ever made. It is the greatest trilogy ever made. Uh, someone, you know, someone, someone, someone else break favorite. this down. Someone break it down. Go for Tell it, me Seth. Take man, no, man, yeah. man, take you're a man of the words. <laughs> yeah, I talk okay. too much. You good, okay. filmies. I don't, I don't know it as well as you guys though. Um, All right, I'll break okay, it. Okay, let me, let me do it. No, go uh-huh. ahead. <laughs> a fantastic trilogy, a complete dialogue piece about two people that meet on a mm-hmm. was it a train? Oh my. Yeah. God. <laughs> Okay, let me yeah, let okay. me break that sucks. Let me break this break down. It down. Before Sunrise, 1995. Basically, Ethan Hawke's character <laughs> is going to uh, whatever country it is to visit like a girlfriend or whatever, you know, and it it just doesn't pan out, so he ends up like, traveling by train across Europe for like a couple weeks or whatever. That's what I said. And uh yeah, okay. Well, on his <laughs> on his last night in Europe, he act, or in his last day, he's in Europe and he's on a train and he uh, meets this girl, Julie Delpy's character. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and basically, he uh, says, it's "Hey, a- we have a connection. Let's go off the train." Yeah, and they fucking walk the street to Vienna all night. And she's got that split second decision, you know, stay on the train. It keeps going, or do I get off and fuck up all my plans to get off with this random guy? And end yeah. the trilogy. It's like the it's like the <laughs> real start of like intelligent cinema for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he starts oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah. like the talking and all that kind of stuff. Well, I mean and yeah. you know, I don't think a lot of people could probably handle this movie the way that it's just oh. dialogue heavy. I mean, the, it is literally on two characters the entire movie having a conversation. Yeah. Well, that's and you would think you would think later, like Go ahead. Go ahead. No, well, go ahead. he pulls off no, a lot you go ahead. of shit like if you watch like Dazed and Confused and Slacker, and then you, you watch the Before Trilogy, you would you would not even be able to imagine that it's from the same guy, you know? Yeah. yeah. Or School of Rock. It's just like, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Bad like, news bears. He does a bunch of different shit, you know? Yeah. Oh, and I mean, it just uh, I think that you know that first movie really set it off, and it left it open ended. Like uh, you didn't. I mean, I didn't. I mean, if I would have saw it back then, I wouldn't have had no expectations for a sequel. Well, I would have yeah. thought there was going to no, be. That's. I mean, that's my thing. You know, when I watched this for the first time, I was able to just go back to back to back. But 
I couldn't imagine sitting through that the first time you think, okay, are we ever going to see a follow-up to this? And then nine yeah. years later, you get the follow-up. That'd be fucking mind-blowing, you know? Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, I mean, in the conversations that they do have and the fact that they meet, fall in love, and only have till, you know, a certain yeah. time and see you later. Well, that dialogue is just so natural. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, it's yep. great, man. It's ridiculous. I would say, you know, as far as, like, movies and film go, that's, uh, like, some of the most naturalistic acting I've ever seen. Oh, mm-hmm. I agreed, man. You know what I mean? Ethan Hawke, man. But yeah, uh, There's so many great scenes. That, like, when they're standing in the listening booth, oh, my God. Oh, man, yeah. That is, that is, like, some of the best shit, man. Yep. Yep. Uh, Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I just I, I can't even pick a scene, really. I mean, when I they're talking when they're talking to the two guys about the the play. Oh yeah, that's I, I played a part. cow. Yeah, I played a cow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, great, great film though, and and uh, when they're inside the Ferris wheel, you know, and of course he says, uh, "I guess we got a sunset or a sunrise." <laughs> I don't know. Well, you think he says sunset, but <laughs> he sounds like a 1920s actor. <laughs> yeah, something like, <laughs> something like that. But uh, no, it's great. Great stuff, and then and then I don't know if you guys seen this one. It's 1996 Suburbia. Giovanni this, Ripsy. This one I have not seen. I've heard some some things about it. Yeah, it, yeah. it's kind of whatever. It's basically a group of kids that hang outside of a like convenience store. So it's and, like a shitty version of Clerks. <laughs> uh, well, it's not like Jay and Silent Bob. It's more of like a group of friends, and it's uh, Giovanni Ripsy, Steve Zahn, uh, <laughs> a handful of people that were in Days, Parker Posey. Okay, but. Uh, there was a they they a, a gun gets introduced into this movie at one point, and that's when it, when I was lost. Uh, a gun in a Richard Linklater movie it just didn't it didn't fit for me, you know. <laughs> what what happens? Someone robbed the store? Oh or... well, yeah, something something in that realm. Like I think some punk fuckers. Come up, you, you know, know what? I feel like I I was scrolling through TV one time and I saw that shit. Because I feel like I've seen it, but I know I haven't. You know, yeah, technically. Yeah. So. I gotta look at this. Well, they're basically like outside of this convenience store, like getting drunk all night, and then uh, like this guy comes back to town who had became like a, a music sensation. You know, he's like in a limo, and Parker Posey's like his agent or some shit, and they're like, you know, hanging out with him, but they're like annoyed at the same time, you know, because he's like pretentious douchebag type guy. But uh, it's it's I don't know, it's kind of a throwaway movie for me. I know uh, Brian Goes Blue actually. Loves that one. If yeah, that's that's who was talking about it. Yeah, is there a DVD of that? Can you get that? Anywhere? No, yeah, I think there's a DVD, but uh, there is no Blu-ray of that. I, I, you know, I have to watch that just because of what it is and who it is. But yeah, you know, there's a reason you don't hear about shit like it's that. It's worth the watch, you know, if you like that. You know, it, I mean, it's it's people in their twenties, like, what am I doing with my life? You know, that kind of thing. So sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, but then we go to '98, Newton Boys. Never seen it. Actually. Never saw, I can't, never I can't saw comment on. It's on Amazon Prime if anyone wants to watch. It. Yeah, I think it's uh, Netflix as well. Uh, yeah. But this was, I think, uh, you know, as far you know, Days was a studio movie, but this was another attempt at like, this was his first big kind of movie. You know what I mean? Like yeah, a big who, Western fucking period piece. Who's it, in this? Uh, Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, hey, hey, everybody. Yeah, Skeet Ulrich. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you gotta love Skeet though, right? <laughs> <laughs> skeet, skeet, skeet. Who fucking names their kid Skeet? I, Let's call him Skeet. That's like uh, that's like Scoot McNary. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least they name him Lars. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I am Lars. I like like I said, I can't talk about this one. Uh, I have to check it out. But then we moved to 2001. You know, after that like Western flop he made, the Newton Boys, he came back to uh, I believe it was Sundance with two films, Waking Life and Tape. Mm. Both uh, two independent films that these we can talk about a little bit. Yeah, Waking Life's like a cult movie to a lot of people. Oh, I know it's getting yeah. uh, Arrow video release actually. Yep, blue. Waking Life came out on my birthday. Ah, <laughs> it's really fucking weird. You know that? <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the IMDb right now, and it shows it. <laughs> I still need Waking to watch Life, tape though. I've seen Waking Life one one time. It's um very deep. It's pretty much deep philosophical conversations the whole way through what you know yeah. it's, that weird animation was like rotoscope or whatever the yeah. hell it is yeah rotoscope oh, it's kind of yeah well, I, mean, Wiley Wiggins. I yeah. can't even this one's like i said before it's uh, like almost every conversation needs its own film well yeah if yeah. you're gonna watch that make sure you're awake cup of cup of coffee with you or something man because <laughs> you got to get really in, in yeah, invested, invested in said yeah yeah a buddy of mine uh recently actually was doing some uh psychedelics and I told him, bro, sit down and watch Waking Life. And he did. So, <laughs> what, is, what was the it? verdict? Oh, he said it was amazing. He said he watched it twice. 
That movie was <laughs> fucking crazy, bro. But tell tell <laughs> me, tell, like I have never done psychedelics, but tell me if you did, that's the movie to watch. Uh, but yeah, you put up. Uh, that or Willy that Wonka. Willy Wonka. <laughs> Enter the void. Enter the void. Oh yes. yeah. But uh, yeah, Waking Life is something else, man. Tape I can talk about a little bit. Uh, this is actually it stars Ethan Hawke and Robert Sean Leonard and Uma Thurman. They're the only three characters in the movie, and the entire thing takes place in a motel room. Very you low ever budget. Been to a motel? <laughs> Yeah. Low budget, simple idea. Yeah, it's like it's almost like they went to the film festival that week and was like, "Let's shoot a movie in this yeah, hotel we gotta, room." We got to make something. But the the dialogue's great. I think, like you know, for just two characters going back and forth for an entire movie, like you know, it's not like a love story. <clears throat> it's two friends talking about like their high school experience and like you know this one act that this dude committed or whatever. Some great shots of Ethan Hawke's uh, snorting coke and guzzling <laughs> beer. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want to do some drugs? <laughs> I see. I, I liked uh, tape. I didn't love it, but I thought for what it is and you know how simple it was, I thought it was pretty fucking solid. Oh yeah. I, I mean, like, I liked it more than a handful of other stuff, but that's just you know, yeah, like the yeah. the shittier stuff. But <laughs> no, tape, tape, fucking uh, pretty good, pretty, uh, pretty good flick. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> and then uh, I think this is actually his most successful movie, 2003, School of Rock, Jack Black. I think oh. it's one of his most. Um, publicly right, known nice. you know to yeah. like the oh yeah for sure the average fan of films right i jack Black, I like the biggest movie. movie as well yeah i'm a fan of school of rock i like it it's good it's good yeah. i haven't watched it in years but uh i wouldn't mind rewatching it uh, i don't think it's great won't change your life but i think it's a solid uh solid little family flick ned schneebly <laughs> <laughs> that's right schneebly yep uh that's I, cool I, enough I, I don't have a whole Sarah lot Silverman's of best uh, performance. Yeah. When I was when I was a kid though, I thought it was, you know, totally rad. 2003, I was like, you know, 14 oh yeah, 14 or something, so. Yeah. It was totally rad. Totally rad, you know. <laughs> totally Kids rad. playing a rock band. What's you know, what's not to love? It's more rad than that. But uh then we have 2004, the sequel to Before Sunrise. Before Sunset. Could it get Before any better? Sunset. Yeah, 9 years later they made a sequel. And uh, basically, it's at this point, you know, he's written a book. He's on a book tour in Paris, and she comes to the book signing. Yep. And uh, they meet again. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's seriously. Look at them again, just walking around. I know. Uh, I think we've always kind of said that this is our favorite one, right? Yeah. I love yeah. them all, but yeah, if I if you say pick one to watch, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd grab that one. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, I mean, and some of the dialogue that they have throughout this film, just as far as uh, like you know, referencing the you know the one night they had, and well, yeah, that's what's so intense about that one because you know the way the first one ended off, you know, you're you're wondering like, okay, what are they going to say after all this time? You know, it's like you're trying to figure, you know, did they meet the you know, together? Yeah, come back and, and it's just them. I don't know. You, I was anytime I see that, I'm I'm just like glued to what they're saying. Mm -hmm. It's the shortest one of the series, min or hour and twenty minutes, I think. Yep. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I can fucking like that that whole trilogy. I can hammer through like it's nothing. It's, oh, it's it's, it's yeah, easy, man. man. I gotta say, the last I don't know, maybe twenty minutes, twenty five minutes of before uh before sunset. God. Oh yeah. Too I, good. Yeah, it's too good. Someone yep. sing it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> they swap me. <laughs> oh, yeah, but no, uh, I mean, there's a lot of great conversations in this one. Like them talking about uh, Ethan Hawke talking about, you know, what if we die today or tomorrow? Like yeah. every day's your last, you know, type. Like in this is them like in their 30s. You know, they were in yeah. their 20s in the previous film. So yeah, and, you know, I was trying to recommend this to people, but I mean, you know, if you if you like dialogue, then you're gonna love it. Some people don't like to sit through fucking you know deep dialogue like that. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. not everyone's cup of tea, uh -huh. but. If you do like listening to what's being said in a film, I mean, that, there's no no better set of movies to watch than those. Oh, no. But, uh, yeah, and then we move up to uh, a remake. <laughs> 2005's Bad News Bears. Billy this Pop is where uh, Linklater, I don't know what he was thinking of this one. I love the guy, but I can't defend this decision at all. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think we even talked about it last week with the baseball flicks. Uh, I liked it when I was a kid, but whoo, whoo. Yeah, you agreeable. know, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing dated about the original Bad News Bears. It's fucking Little League. There's nothing dated <laughs> about baseball, you know, nothing. Yeah, there's, there's nothing dated about racism. 
<laughs> I don't know. Is it racist? Oh, the original anyway is like right, isn't it? The kids are racist and cussing, right? No. Well, they're just little, yeah, they're just little assholes. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm wrong, yeah. but yeah. They might drop an N word in there. I don't know. <laughs> Not enough to remake the fucking movie, you know. Yeah, I mean, God, we can just whatever. But uh, 2006, Fast Food Nation. Uh, I've not seen that one. I've not. It's based off a book. Yeah, for some reason, I always thought it was a documentary of some. So did I. It's not. Yeah, you're thinking of of Food Inc. Mm-hmm. It Maybe. is a documentary. Just watch that. Yeah. Is, watch is that. it a documentary? Or no? Yeah. No, it's uh, no, not fast got Nation. actors. Uh, Greg Kinnear, Bruce Willis. Yeah, oh, shit. Bunch of actors in it. Uh, Eller oh, Coltrane. Yeah, Eller Coltrane. Elmer Valderrama. At that time, under the name Eller Salmon. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Eller Salmon. Is that what it says? That's what it is. Oh God! Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, oh my God! I I haven't actually seen this one, that, but it's uh, about a bunch of people, I guess, that work in like the fast food industry of some kind. You know, you just know. I mean, there's a reason you don't hear about suburbia <laughs> and fast food nation and the Newton Boys. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you gotta watch there's these, flops, uh, yeah. you, you just can't expect. You know, you gotta know what you get into. Yeah, this was one that like I always seen ran on Comedy Central, but never watched. <laughs> Well, after doing the before trilogy, he can do as many Newton boys as he wants. To. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. You know, he's got some space that he can work with. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, that same year, he did a Scanner Darkly, which I think's kind of got a cult following at this point. I didn't it's, like it. It's another one I have not seen. It's also rotoscope, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just could I, not I get into it. Yeah, same with me as well. But uh, that's Keanu Reeves, Winona Ryder, Robert Down Jr., uh, Woody yeah. Harrelson. That's a stacked cast, man. Yeah. It's, yeah, the acting was good. It was just I don't know. The the story was a little. Yeah, like Keanu Reeves is like in uh he's like an undercover cop and it's like I don't know, there's like some drug stuff going on. I don't know, it's a really weird movie. Mm-hmm. Uh like those those kind of movies that he's done though. I'm curious what the raw footage looks like cuz you know, I'm yeah. pretty sure they shot well, that's what I'm saying, like, and then drew over it, right? Well, yeah, that's what it to, is. Yeah. I, I would love to see that movie just regular, like live yeah, action. Exactly. Like, be cool, but Nope. <laughs> yeah, I've not watched that. That's that's one of the the ones that, you know, everyone talks about that I still have to see, so yeah, I do own it, but uh, yeah, I need to need to revisit it. Maybe I'll find something better out of it. But uh, 2008, me and Orson Welles haven't seen it. I, watched I didn't even know that's a thing. Never heard of it. I watched five Zac Efron. Yeah. yeah, it's boring. Hmm. Okay, I, I didn't know he directed it though. Let's yeah. skip over it. <laughs> okay, let's go to Bernie. Bernie. Yeah, what about Bernie though? You guys have seen this? It's like a documentary it's a true story. Type film. Yeah, it is. it is. He's friends with him, right? Isn't that the whole shit? He lived uh, with him. Let him move in with him. Yeah, that was, was part that of his role. Before or after the murder? Before It was before, of course. No. Before, I can't wait for the sequel, Before Murder. <laughs> Bernie Solid. Man. Yeah, no, uh, I think, yeah, I agree. Not great. You know, I own it. You'll remember, <laughs> but. It didn't blow my mind, but uh, I, I was able to you know get through it. I was entertained throughout. Jack Black, is pr- I like Jack Black. I think he's, you know, he's pretty good in that movie. No, I, yeah, I mean that's that's kind of a performance you got to kind of put on, you know. So yeah, yeah, I, solid, yeah, solid. Agree on watch. That. And, uh, you can buy it at the uh, Dollar Tree. Yep. It's it's yeah, it's a Dollar Tree title for sure. <laughs> I got it at a uh, Blockbuster closing down. There you go. You got the <laughs> slip cover? No. <laughs> I do. <laughs> no, actually, uh, Seth doesn't. Wow, congrats on it. your cardboard. I took it on my last visit. Oh, let's see. <laughs> He's looking, oh my god. Still got it. But, uh, no. Wow. <laughs> Neat. And then, uh, what about 2013, baby? Before Ooh. Midnight. Uh. Oh. This, uh, I think yeah. it could not get any better, and it At, fucking does. After rewatching the trilogy, uh, I've, I think this is my favorite one, probably. This was intense. I just that, uh, that whole dinner scene is fucking well, that whole hotel. That, yeah, well, that, that too. But I mean, scene. that dinner scene. Well, oh my god, dude, that's, just fucking blows me away. The that's, entire forty-five minutes at the end. The, yeah, the last mm-hmm. minutes. from the point they get to that mo that motel. <laughs> <Yep>. That <laughs> motel. <laughs> that from the point they get to the hotel to that that final scene is just like incredible. I mean, how she gets the call from his son, like I landed, and he's like, oh, "Well, like how it turns from the phone, you know, from them them getting along to them like practically breaking up within that, you know, that well, span." It's like that whole conversation goes back and forth. Like you think they're about to make up, and yeah. then they huh? don't. You know, like each time, like yeah. you know, he's like, "Oh, why would you say that?" And then it's like, I don't know. And she leaves, and then he like fucking flops on the couch, and yeah. she comes back in. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> titty titty pussy pussy fuck you. Uh, <laughs> no uh, I I mean this one though I just love it and, the, uh, 
you guys know the shot in the movie where they're sitting and they watch the sun go down and like they're like it's still there it's still there yeah it's still there it's gone oh. like that shot is fucking amazing I'm actually yeah that's that's right, fucking movie because even even the car ride from the airport to the place is fucking genius yeah. too yeah how long is that scene like 10 that's minutes like 10, yeah that's like 10 minutes scene that's yeah. great you know that whole fucking trilogy is on a different <laughs> level from anything else. Oh, it's, yeah. It's fucking masterful. I can't, like, it, I cannot tell you any flaws with that. They're three perfect movies, in my I, opinion. I think as far as, like, the filmmaking, like, aspects go to it, I think the third one's the best. Like, the, you know, the way it looks, like, it looks, like, more like a film than any of them to me, you yeah. know? Yeah, it does. You know it's what I mean? Like movie, movie, movie. Yeah, but no, fucking phenomenal. Yeah, that is my favorite trilogy. I've seen the big ones, you know, Lord of the Rings, all that shit that everyone is my favorite trilogy, you know. But <laughs> that watched it once, and I'm like, I, I agree. This is the best. This is this is the How, best. How's he gonna top that? Right Can't. before murder. Maybe he can. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, what yeah. about this? What about this next one though? Hmm? What about it? Boyhood. I think we said enough about it. Yes. Are they <laughs> still talking about that fucking movie? <laughs> <laughs> we'll never stop talking about it. Christ Almighty! Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, what can what, be said that hasn't be, been said already? I, I've said stuff like this about it before, but like uh, you know, when I watched Boyhood for the first time, like it made me think about like memories from my own life that I would have never thought about again. You know, had I not watched that movie, it's right? A very, it's, it's relatable. Good, very oh, yeah. powerful piece of cinema. It's yeah. a perfect companion. <laughs> like no, it really is. I even. Yeah. As simple as him and the kid like playing Halo, you know, I'm like, yeah, God, a, the fucking amount of time I wasted doing that with captured. my friends, you know, dude, it's a two, what is it, you know, two and a half yeah. hour fucking time capsule, you know, yeah, yeah, what it is, it's a time capsule, and it's a, a genius film. piece of filmmaking the way it was made, and yeah. and that's you know that's what the before trilogy is, it's like almost the same like type of thing, you know. Yeah, like of eight, following someone throughout time. Yeah, yeah, time 18, is, 18 years for the before, before trilogy, and you know, like twelve years for, you know, slave. Yeah, <laughs> you well, and, and, you know, the running <laughs> gag. Fuck, <yeah. laughs> twelve years. <laughs> that was essential to telling the story. You know that. Yeah. that was the purpose if, of the if film. The kid, if the kid doesn't grow up, what's the point? Yeah, you, you know, know? I mean, that it's boyhood. It's about him growing I, up. It's, I it's liked essential. it when he was a kid, but when he got emo. <laughs> I don't know. I just wasn't into it. It's just an emo you photographer. Know, boyhood gets a three in our household. <laughs> Did I ask what he gets in your fucking household? It's no. Kind of, it's kind of like, you know, they, they say when he got emo, like the stuff that he's thinking in his, you know, later teen years are, is the stuff that I'm kind of thinking now. You know? Well, I mean... Uh, it's really Does weird. Emo? I don't. You know. I don't, I don't way... think so. But that's the way. <laughs> what is? Because he paints his nails. What does you know? Being a photographer does that make you depressive emo? I mean, I, I, hope I, not. I don't get it. You know. Well, I mean, that's, if you don't I have a football that. helmet and you're not balding, then well, you, I guess there's an issue. Yeah, you know, I've. Oh, God, we've been over it with this movie countless times, and it, oh, fine. If you don't like it, fine. But a lot of the excuses I've heard when people try and rag on it just they don't make sense to me. I'm like, give me a. a, a reasonable excuse why you don't like it you know what is it you don't like the fact that he's emo that's that's stupid i mean it's right. dumb. so you're I saying agree. if he would have turned out to be a sports star then it would have been a better film i don't get it you know right yeah, yeah. uh but yeah oh. no fucking <sighs> yeah boyhood dude i just ah, i can't even say anything about it masterpiece 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 <laughs> and more and more and more masturbate, go big masturbate, masturbate masturbate <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know and then i mean boyhood boyhood we're waiting in boyhood on the criterion but <laughs> oh my god please i'm just god, waiting for a... before trilogy blue well, okay Blu -ray release okay boyhood. this is a this is a fucking deal breaker which which do you want more boyhood criterion or before trilogy i want before trilogy before, before trilogy. trilogy boyhood's yeah. already on blue so i'm good there mm -hmm. uh, i mean i love a documentary but i mean whatever for the supplements I don't know. I want them both. I want all of them, Mark. Okay? I can't pick. Uh, I can't pick. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I'm going to be selfish. When's I'd probably Budapest pick Boyhood. It's got, uh, you know, Boyhood for me. But uh, no, I want them all. But, uh, just, no. 12 years of filming, they're sitting on a treasure trove of, you know, extras. Oh, they have to yeah. be. And there's nothing on that Blu-ray. You know they're holding out for it. Can you imagine? Well, if if uh, Eller even owns the phone, can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine, like, the footage? Like, this will be, like... Hey guy, like, oh my god! I mean, that's you the, thing, like his, the little behind parents, the scenes footage he has on his phone or something. I was, was gonna say his parents must have footage. 
You know oh, what I mean? I mean yeah. You know, it's stacked. It's it's yeah. stacked. To make like I a... think the the before trilogy though is it's just a matter. Of, like I think any any day now you're gonna get online or something and see next month's Criterion releases. It'll be on there. Like it's really close. I feel. Yeah. Eller, uh, is it cool if we watch your home footage from your actual life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh no and you know we did this retrospective and we're leading up to uh everybody wants some which is getting a wide release this weekend uh limited yeah. last weekend and you're uh, going to see it right yeah i was gonna say if you guys are listening look out for a review from me uh hopefully saturday i'll have one up so is there any way it's not gonna be a glowing review possibly mm, i i don't know i mean yeah. Days and Fuse is my favorite movie ever made, and this is a spiritual sequel to that. So it'd be another it's like the same boys. type of vibe to me. You know? It's getting yeah, good okay. reviews. There's no way, man. Looks I, like Days and Confused. Yeah, there's yeah, no really. way that I think I can give it a bad review. You know, yeah. the, the only thing that's going to really debunk it for me would be the acting. I would have to say. Sure. You know, if the acting is not good and the acting doesn't sell it for me, but yeah, no. Look out for a review on the uh, Cinema Scumbags YouTube channel. Slash Cinema Scumbags. You didn't have to wait three years. Exactly. You know. So now Just you might out. have you might have a uh, a fair review. Yep. Nope. Stoked for it. Been hearing great things. I love Richard Linklater. I love his resume. Yep. The guy is a mastermind. Sure, he's got some clunkers, but who doesn't? You know, the the yep. clunkers are erased by the the masterpieces. In, in the plural. That he's put out the clunkers, exactly. uh, you know, are almost like uh, you know, and it, like he's trying to do those so he can get money to do his passion projects. Exactly. You know what I mean? Rich, right. I mean, come on, anytime you're ready. Yeah, oh, no, he's have... he's my favorite uh, filmmaker, no doubt. Yeah, he's yeah, he's up there. And he wasn't, you know, I mean, that's kind of recent within the past couple years, but you know, after sitting and watching all the shit that he's done, and just a whole different level, man. Rich, I'm doing... Rich. I fucking love you, boy. Rich, boy. <laughs> boy. 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 Richard. But uh, no, I mean, <laughs> you know, what What uh, you guys been watching anything this past week? What about uh, What about our movie? What about Lahaini? Oh, let, oh yeah. let's Lahaini. do it. Lahaini. Yeah, if you guys uh, listened last week, you know that we did the first time watch. We talked about uh, Man Bites Dog last week, which was Filmies' pick. And last week was Matt's pick, so Lahaini. Uh, we all watched it. It was available on Hulu, Criterion title. Translation. What do you, you guys think? Hate. Yeah, that that is uh that is the translation, right? Yes. Hate. It's got uh Vincent Castle in it and uh was it a Sahid? Sahid. <laughs> <Something like that. laughs> yeah. Did what what you guys what do you guys think of this one though? I was a huge I loved fan, it. Actually. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. I thought it was alright. I was kinda of bored with it. Oh okay. really? It's okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I thought it was a solid movie. Well, what what uh what was what was boring about it for you, Seth? I just wasn't really interested. I mean, uh, like the character, you know, I I like some things about it. Very relevant. Um, That's what I was gonna say. You know, it's a very relevant topic, especially nowadays, more so than ever. You know, yeah, right, like yeah. police and shit, and brutality. But I don't know. It was fine. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. It was it was a good watch. I just wasn't too engaged with it. You know, I was just kind of going through the motions I, with. I think if the movie wasn't as like stylistic as it was, it could have been a little boring, you know. But since yeah, like, right. the, some of the film, like the film camera work and stuff, yeah. made it fucking a lot better. No, yeah. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying like, bad me about and Matt it. were talking earlier. There's a scene where they're like standing on this balcony in the background. Like, I don't even. Know, it zooms in like extremely close for some. I, I just don't even get how they accomplished that. And there was another scene you were talking about, Matt. What was it that? Uh, it's like the. Uh, uh, what's it called like the taxi driver scene kind of when he's in the mirror but you yeah. don't see the camera like at all and it goes past him it's fucking crazy like some of that camera work is just oh yeah that was really really fucking good that was great you, you could definitely Adventure. tell that uh you know his character was like based on a a travis bickle like yeah a taxi yeah. driver type thing you know he wanted to kill a cop you know yeah like and, and you know the whole movie is like basically their friend gets injured in this riot or whatever you know injured he gets like whatever shot by he's a, in a cop, coma i think yeah, he's in yeah, a coma. He's in a coma the crim- yeah. And then, uh, he, you know, his plan is if this friend dies in the hospital, he's, his plan is to kill a cop. Yep. And, and I would assume France, like, isn't allowed to have weapons or something. Well, yeah, I mean, the way they talked about it, how, like, that the gun went missing and, like, you know, everyone was making a big old fucking thing deal about yeah. it. But it's it's basically about police brutality and how they've just yeah. had enough of it. Yeah. I really like the black guy. He was great. Oh, oh he was I fucking so really good. There was uh, another scene in that, or it was in the beginning whenever they introduced the black character and he's, like, punching the punching bag or whatever and Vince is, like, leaning against the poster. 
And, like, the camera zooms in on Vince, and he walks away, and the camera zooms in on the poster, and, like, you know... The way it introduced him. Yeah, it reveals what the character... You know, his character, like, basically, I don't know, is really, really good. And, like, the (laughs) fact that, the you know, they're three different... Like, you know, Vince is, like, a Jew. Saheed is uh, Arab, and I'm not... The black guy is black. (laughs) I'm not Arab. I'm I'm not not Arab. I'm not I'm not sure of the black guy's name, but uh you know just... pretty sure he's black though. No, yeah. The, but I think that was that his whole guy... stigma. Yeah, like yeah, the, guy, yeah, exactly. the guy like he was like the one guy trying to kind of, you know, break these guys of what the fucking dumb shit they're doing. Yeah, he was yeah. a dr- you know, dr- drug dealer, but a good guy, you know. Yeah. yeah. But not Seth, a total like, scum fuck. I got to tell you though, Seth, the ending, that ending, that last shot. Oh, it's fucking great. It's uh, great. Like, really? Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, it didn't really do I again. Oh. Enjoyed it for what it was. Thought it was solid, but it, yeah, nothing. You know, very one and done for me. Ouch. Uh, this is uh, this is one of those movies though that always pops up on those like huge lists and all that. You know, <laughs> I honestly think I'd like it more if it was in English, but it's you know whatever. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, it, well, I'm sure I'm sure they're gonna remake it, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was um great. it was quick though as far as like the dialogue. So yeah, it was kind of hard to keep up at times. It was just fast paced throughout the whole thing. Is I, I, did they at one point? Or am I wrong? They had a Reservoir Dogs wall, poster on the wall. No, I, I don't know. It, I don't see that. I mean, I wouldn't. Sure. No, I mean, for some reason, I thought me. that whole ending know, seemed very Res Dogs. Yeah, no, I thought so. And you know, the whole like so far so good. Like mm-hmm. you know how the dialogue starts out in the opening and then the ending so far so good and it yeah. zooms in. And, whew, fucking, uh, you know, I I thought it was a great pick, uh, Matt. Though is it a, to, is it on Blu-ray Criterion? It yeah. is cool. Oh, that is. It's been one, yeah, it's yeah. been one I've been wanting. Ooh, I'm snagging that. Yeah. I will. I will own that for just the cinematography alone. Please don't buy me that one when you get me a prize. I'll but... buy you Persona. Ooh, yeah, I'll buy you that one. Well, I can, no, I don't want that one either. I could buy you the movie that this uh, director also did, Gothica. <laughs> Ew. No. Yeah, the director has done nothing. Like, he's done <laughs> shit after this. So yeah, kind of he's actually and, uh, in the movie too. Yeah, he's a, yeah he's. Uh, a I, bit. I th- the Vince character and the Sahid character have actually been in like American film, though you know, for the past you know him. Well, I mean, ten, yeah, Vince and Castle, fucking, I've heard of. Yeah, he's been in Eastern Promises and fucking a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, he's big. I think big time. it it didn't even look like a '90s movie though. Like it it just looked real crisp. It, it was edited well. I was gonna say the transfer, whatever it was, was fucking clean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was. Like it was good. Yeah. It was good. It was good. <laughs> good choice. Good choice on the black and white too. No, uh, yeah, I agree though. And the whole Vince character, I just thought everything was great about him. And you know, I don't know. It's good. Good fucking pick, Matt. I have Solid. to say. Yeah. Thank you. Good job. It's all right. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, if you guys are tuning in for our first time watches, uh, let us know on Twitter. Like, you know, if you guys have been watching these or any of that. Uh, I'd like yeah, to I wonder know, if anyone but... watch if anyone fucking watches these with us. I don't know. But uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna be picking the title for the next first time watch. Of course you are. It's my pick. <laughs> it's it's my, my turn. It was, it was my pick until earlier today. Okay, uh, he took that over. No, right quick. no. Let me let me explain <laughs> this for you. Okay, Seth picks Andre uh, dinner with Andre shit, and then it's shit. Uh, oh no, wait, that was a good movie actually. My dinner with Andre, then Filmy picks Man Bites Dog, then Matt picks Lahane, and then I pick My Life as a Dog. What did we start off with? Didn't you pick City of God and uh, King of New York? Persona. Persona? Uh, no, no. Cinema no. Scumbags, first time watched, edited, produced, no, directed we, by Nick we, D. <laughs> <laughs> My God, see, we are just now, uh, well, you know, you guys could put some input in. I'm good with whatever, honestly. But no, no, everything no. We, I want everything you to be we, happy with what you're watching. Dog, so. dog, no, dog. we're we're getting into the cycle now. Like you said last week, Seth, you want you know everyone to take a pick each week. So it's my Someone's turn. On their cycle. And, uh, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, I gotta spend my week watching a movie I didn't pick. Oh, that's it. I'm taking it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna change my Hulu password. You fucking idiots. <laughs> oh, please don't. Yeah, don't T do has that. it, so I'm good. Go ahead. They're all crying now. So. I'm just busting your balls. Buddy, you know I'll be thinking about it three days from now. I know, <laughs> three don't. weeks from now. When you're I'm driving around, yeah, Where think about something you? else. God, I'm just kidding. No, we're just we're just kidding, bud. It's all good. All right, that. so what's the choice, Man Eats Ass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's the movie you'd rather watch, but the movie that will we be watching? Will we be watching? Is My Life as a Dog? My Life is available. A cock. My Life as a Tranny. No, don't don't fuck up the title for these people because we've uh, done this once before. Sounds like sex film. 
as a dog. 1985. Oh, what is that creepy cover art? Let me look it up. <sighs> Whoa! Don't. It's fucking terrifying. It looks like Isaac from Children of the Corn. Is it like a horror movie? What is it? <laughs> no, it's a fucking coming of age movie. It has a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, read the synopsis for the viewers. Okay, for the viewers. Make them interested. Yeah, it's, or the listeners. Uh, it's called My Life is a Dog from 1985. Does that, that kid have Down syndrome? <laughs> uh, it's is actually, this American? It's actually the kid from Deliverance. But uh, a boy and his brother don't get along. In order to let their ill mother rest, they, they're separated and sent to live with a relative. It's Swedish. Swedish, okay. I've always heard like amazing things about this, and I've always wanted to see it, so that's why I picked it for first no, time. It, it looks actually... like the kid from Gummo. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry milk and spaghetti. Uh, and, uh, uh, no, it's, it, it sounds pretty intriguing, you know. Looking looking forward to it. Yep, yeah, I hope it's good. Like, uh, uh, Ralph Macchio. Thank God it's in color. For fuck's sake. <laughs> no, maybe I next know, time we'll uh, have one in English. Yeah, hopefully Seth can break that mold next week. Oh, it mine's English and uh, color. Good, good, and good. Is it like after? Is it Bucky Larson? Two thousand. No, it's nineteen seventy one. Cool. Can't wait to hear about it. Okay. Cool. Can't wait to hear about it. <laughs> that was a sincere statement. We're uh, watching Gangster Squad next week. Everyone, <laughs> oh, yes. Check We're it doing out. Gangster Let's... Squad retrospective. It's yeah, yeah. analysis. Hey, speaking of that, let's go ahead and just uh, what we watch. What, what's one thing you guys watch this week? Filmies, kick it off. Gangster shit. I think. I think one. Th- <laughs> no, I'm not going to talk about that one. I think one that we should talk about since I think most of us watched it. Hush. Hush. Yeah. Let's. Do yeah. It. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Go not on. Not bad, huh? What'd you guys think of it? Solid. Well, yeah. nothing when I special. On, when I click on a movie like that, I have like the bottom of the barrel expectations. So even a decent movie impresses me in that situation. Mm-hmm. So I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. And I have to say, when you told us about it, I still thought it was going to come to theater or something. I didn't know it was even on fucking Netflix. Yeah, it was right away, man. Fuck, we were talking about the trailer just a couple weeks yeah. ago. I mean, was it even in theaters at all? I don't, I don't, think, so. I don't think so. Yeah. So they went the Cloverfield route. I guess. Yeah, uh, they went the direct to fucking <laughs> direct to Netflix well, route. Yeah, whatever sure. John Gallagher Jr.'s in seems to go that way. But really? Did, did He's it fucking uh, great? No, no, it seems to go the way of short release. Oh yeah. Oh, did yeah. it uh did it stand out for you? Did it feel like any other kind of horror movie or Yeah, for me it did. Well for me, honestly, I'm not a huge like home invasion fan. Like there's nothing seen, scary seen, about that no. to me. If you've seen them all, you've you know, really yeah. it's the yeah. same shit. But his character was fucking great. Like, you know, like he was just such a fucking asshole. Like, yeah. he just wanted I, to mess was, with somebody. Yeah, well, I, thought, exactly. I liked how he uh, ditched the stupid ass Jabberwocky mask mm-hmm. right, right at the beginning, you know? I love that. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, so, it was, so it actually does show his face. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right so away. He only has the mask on for like the first five minutes. Oh, wow. And they <laughs> kind of make they kind of make a nod to it. You know, she's like saying, oh, like, I'm not going to tell anyone you have a mask on. I didn't see anything. And he fucking takes the mask off. And he's like, well, when, well, we, when we watched that trailer a couple of weeks back, I didn't realize that the chick was deaf when we were watching the trailer. Yeah. So I thought oh. that was interesting. I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. You know? Well, I, I remember uh, me and Filmy's calling it saying that the trailer looked uh, not bad. And you two, oh, ah, it looks shitty. Believe me. I do this. <laughs> I, all I agree. The time. I, agree I will rip on a movie and I watch it and end up liking it. And if I do, I admit it, you know, yeah. well, I'm glad you yeah, should admit will- you're fucking. Yeah. I will have no problem saying I was wrong. I still don't think Hush was some great film, though. Still it was pretty, it. It was very pretty generic, very but it was generic. good for what it was. Yeah, yeah. I watched that over the other one that he fucking did, Oculus. That one oh, sucks. Yeah, see, oh. That one is so yeah. bad. There was a nice throat cut in this fucking movie. Oh, I was, that's what I was going to say. It was fucking pretty Can't good. Can't handle that, man. It makes me squeamish. There was, uh... I was going to say, did you, were you getting fucking like, yeah, that, lightheaded? That, it got to me a little bit. <laughs> that was so realistic. Yeah. Real fast. He's like, he was like, it's over. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun, though, man. I had a good yeah. time with it. There was that part where she was imagining things, and if it ended the way she thought yeah. it, did, I would have liked it a lot more, I think. <laughs> I, I like that, though. I like that vibe, though, that you know she kept having those like hallucinations. or like. Fucking... I, I, I got excited, and then the second I saw what happened, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, well. I, I don't want to spoil this, because I've seen a lot of people like post on Instagram about this and shit, so I don't want to get too much into it. But there's a part where she, like, you know, Corners herself in the bathroom and she's got all the doors shut. How does he fucking get behind her? Does he come go through the ceiling or what? There's a window. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, I, just, she's I in didn't the see bathtub. the window wasn't behind her, though. She's in the bathtub. He, he drops down right behind her. Like, came from the vents like fucking Solid Snake or something. <laughs> <laughs> could, could be. <laughs> could be. It was interesting. You know, they had to get, their, they had to get their Metal Gear Solid nod yeah. in there. Those yeah. are fun. I don't click on a home invasion movie <laughs> expecting to be blown away with it. 
No, it's good though. I prefer I like Strangers. <laughs> strangers is good. Yeah, sorry, was about Aunt Diane. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Hush, hey, Aunt I, Diane. Worst cover art ever on anything. <laughs> Uh, uh, filmies, I'm just dragging into it. West of Memphis. What'd you think, bro, of that doc? I know you watched it. Uh, I think it was better than the the Purgatory or the. You better than the trilogy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It obviously because it had better production value. I mean, it was backed by people like Peter Jackson, for God's sake. Oh yeah. But just uh, whatever you do, stay away from Devil's Knot, bro. Uh, I already tried. I tried. <laughs> what and fucking movies about that? Do they need to make? Well, well, this, this w- Devil's Knot is like an actual film starring Colin oh, Firth and Reese Witherspoon, and yeah, so oh, bad. Oh god, so I didn't bad. watch it, but uh, the trailer just yeah. Sorry for dragging into it, but West of Memphis Murder. No, I, I thought it was great. There was a lot more information that was in that one that wasn't in the others. Oh yeah, because it kind of it kind of took you through the whole thing, you know. Yeah, plus it was after those, so there was some new information that went But but there. fuck spoilers. How about that uh that crazy ass dad like you killed my boy, I'm gonna watch you bleed. Oh yeah, Mark <laughs> by the Mark end, Byers. By the end he's like free these kids. They didn't kill him. Yeah, I, I wanted him to die for so long I thought he did it and then afterwards I was like, Damn, this is a good guy. It's like the yeah. biggest turnaround for an opinion of somebody. No oh, yeah. It was uh it was good good documentary. For you listeners out there, if you love murder West of Memphis is right up your alley. You love children if you're murder. A murder, murder aficionado. <laughs> I love killing kids. <laughs> As you can see in my um, short film. My short short. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyone else, Matt? What about you, buddy? That was it. I watched well, Drive. I, watched... I rewatched Drive. Yeah, five okay. stars. Let me. Can five, I take that's this? a masterpiece. It Sorry. is. Okay, yeah. my turn. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Don't do that. Take it no, over. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. You want to elaborate? Go ahead. No, not really. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay, I watched a a classic film that I want to talk about. Widely regarded as you know, very just very popular. Never hear anything bad about it. 1968's Rosemary's Baby. Okay. Oh, I was curious um, about that. Yeah, man. You know, I I'm curious. Want to, <laughs> to see it for a long time. Just kind of put it off. You know, I had to be in the mood to watch something like that. And I was uh-huh. checked it out. Man, what a fucking might be an M word. It's great. Oh, I thought you were gonna shit on it. Awesome. Oh, no, I, I loved it, man. It was yeah. re- really disturbing and the ending. Yeah. D- yes, disturbing without showing you anything that's like fucked up. You know, I it's all like, uh, I think Nick D. I think Nick D would like it. Yes, yeah, there's yeah. psychological, man. You don't see anything. But As I was gonna say, is it's like a good psychological thriller. Oh, like, oh yeah, it's fucked up. It's man. a mind it's fuck. Really, it's really fucked up. Yeah. Well, she they move into this apartment and. You know, her and her husband, and they got these weird neighbors, like they're overly friendly, and she ends up getting pregnant, and they find out weird shit about the neighbors, and there's something going on with her her baby, and she has, has these weird visions and fucking dreams, and the ending is really something else, man. The last 15 minutes or so, God, yeah. I crazy do, uh, shit. I do own that Criterion. I'm have to peep it. Yeah, that was one of those I got a couple months back with that glitchy Canadian sale. So yeah, you know, five have, bucks, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's one you know. Now after I watched, I would have gladly paid you know twenty or whatever. So yeah. that's a gem of a Criterion. I'm really glad to own it. I mean, it's you know I can see why it's regarded as a classic. And you hear a lot of shit about it. It's fantastic. Loved it. Yep, cool. That was a uh, who directed that? That's um, what's Roman. Called, right? Pol- yeah, Polanski, right? Yep. 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 Um, well, no, he went was... through he went through some fucked up shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was great, though, man. Very unsettling. Awesome. awesome. Um, uh, Want to wrap it up? Anyone else? <laughs> no? Yeah, it's good. Go ahead, wrap it up. All right. That was uh, God, 247, huh? Yeah. These lanky. episodes are getting longer and longer. <laughs> I like it, though. You know, it's like nonstop talking. I love the, uh, the Linklater retrospective. It was great. I hope if anyone's listening who hasn't really um, explored... Richard Linklater's films, you know, I hope that kind of motivates you because I know we always try and get people to watch that shit. It's yep, it's great stuff in there, man. Yeah, great filmmaker. Great, 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 great. Um, again, <laughs> the next uh, next week for the first time watch, we're doing a uh, My Life as a Dog. Is that right? Yep. yep. Hulu uh, Hulu Criterion title. You Hulu guys can Criterion. check it out on there. Yeah, so if you're into that segment, you like watching along with us and hearing us break it down, uh, let us know. And if, and if you guys do watch these movies, you have any thoughts about it, you know, you can drop a 
tweet or a voicemail we'll play you know whatever any thoughts about what we're watching or talking about love to hear from you guys um twitter instagram facebook cinema scumbags if you're listening on itunes make sure you subscribe to youtube youtube.com slash cinema scumbags there is tons of content on there this uh, podcast just scratches the surface of what we do there's tons of different videos so uh there's content always flowing in over there you guys got any closing thoughts look out sure. for uh look out for <laughs> i was everybody. gonna say that <laughs> Look out for the Everybody Wants Some review from Nick D on the Scumbags YouTube channel this week. Yeah, we have an Everybody Wants Some review coming out, and uh, we just put up the Willy Wonka commentary. If you want to uh, listen along, uh, it's fucking funny shit, so it's we get great. a good laugh. But it's yeah, great. It's fun. It's fun. All right. Calling an episode number 47 in the books. Thank you guys for listening, and as always, go fuck yourselves. <laughs>